Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful creatures of the internet. I am Mango Jones. Uh, as always, in my description, there are links to reproductive health resources for all people with and without uteruses. And there are also links to LGBTQIA plus resource hubs for all individuals and their families. And of course, there are links to the rest of these stream pervs family like Slim Cyborg, uh, Vila Vendetta, Pearlfish, you know, yeah. Some of the most wonderful people that I have ever met. Uh, let's see. Uh, tonight, everyone should definitely go check out Security Monitor Lizard's stream on his backup channel about Ukraine and Russia. Because not only is it important to be aware of what is going on with that, but he and I are going to be working together on a charity thing and all of the details of that will be announced on that channel during that stream so let's see where's that link copy i am totally prepared for everything you guys uh here is the link to that channel so please go check that out tonight It'd be greatly appreciated <sighs> okay so on to the puzzle uh today's puzzle or if if time allows, we're actually going to do two puzzles today. Um, I had a really rough day yesterday, and I actually ended up doing a lot of sleeping. Uh, like, a, a lot of sleeping after everything that I needed to do. So I'm trying to keep myself awake for the majority of the day. Um, this first puzzle we're doing here is James and the Giant Peach. Uh, the puzzle is not based off of the movie imagery, but it is based off of the book. And if we have enough time after this one, then we will also do the Matilda puzzle. Because I love Matilda. It was one of my favorite books, one of my favorite movies. Uh, yeah, spectacular stuff. Um, here in a little bit, I'm going to post a poll, I think. If YouTube will let me. Because I would like to know what serious stream you guys would like for me to do this week. Because today I'm doing this. Um, I do believe Friday morning I am going to do the MAGA Hat Romance continuation. But I have two streams that are all researched up and ready to go. I just need to make the slideshows for them and, like, actually do them. Uh... But I'm going to leave it up to you guys as to which one gets done this week and which one gets done next week. So, yeah. But, yes, good morning, everyone. Thank you for those that are here right now. I greatly appreciate it. Um, here in a little while, you know, if anyone wants to come in, shoot the shit, just let me know. I'll send you a link. It's cool. Uh, it's a Tuesday morning. I don't have to work today. I was ordered to take today off. So, here we are. I'm doing this. I'm talking to y'all. What's everyone's plans for the week? Anyone got anything exciting going on? No. Since I like to explain to y'all like how I divide up the puzzles, uh, this puzzle... And the Matilda puzzle, I divide up in the same way. Um, I, of course, get out all of the edge pieces, as you can see. But when it comes to the main pieces, I divide them up into picture and words. Because, well, there's pictures and words. Yeah, two guns. I'm probably going to put the link out when I get, like, further into this puzzle. Because, like, ooh. Well, Carnivorous, it's, uh, only 9.30 in the morning on the East Coast. So, of course, there's no one in voice yet. Like, there's... It's early, my dude. It's early. Gotta love it. That piece does not go in there. No, come back. It'll go in there. Oh, 
But I'm glad that I could, uh, you know, provide background noise. It's generally what I'm good at. Because while I do have things of substance to say, sometimes this morning is not one of those mornings. Because I am tired. I have too much on my mind. Well, I almost just lost a piece. Uh -huh, I'm smart. Oh, yeah, will YouTube let me make a poll? Because I know for some people the poll thing works. For other people, the poll thing doesn't. So let's figure this out together, shall we? Can Mango Jones post a poll? Hopefully the answer is yes. If it is not yes, then uh, we can riot, I suppose. If you guys want to riot with me, that's cool. I enjoy riot buddies. Ah, yes. Haha. Haha. -ha. Okay. So let's see. Which stream should I do this week? Oh, wait, which informational stream? Because that MAGA hat romance book is not informational. Okay, so I have, hopefully it shows up. Yes, there it goes. Okay, I put up a poll. Uh, it's going to, the poll's going to stay open throughout the entire stream. So that will determine which stream gets done Thursday morning. It's either going to be uh, the 16 and pregnant stream where we talk about the history of the show and we look at uh the claims that certain places have made about how it impacted teen pregnancy rates which it did not so we'll look at like the actual cdc numbers and statistics on the teen pregnancy rate throughout the time that the show was running and right before the show had started and then uh, the other one is the troubled teen industry as a whole, because we did go over Aspen Education Group and how fucked up they are. And they're just a small portion of what is known as the troubled teen industry. And yeah, we'll learn all about uh, what type of programs fall within that, uh, what type of money they make, what type of accreditations and stuff they do or do not have. And we'll look at a couple of the different uh, companies because, like, they, there's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. But you never know. Like, they disguise themselves in many ways. You learned so much from the MAGA hat romance. What did you learn, Two Guns? Did you learn how not to talk to women? Did you learn that it's not okay to stalk people across uh, conventions? Because, like, if you didn't learn that, then oof. We need to talk. And not in the fun way. I'm sorry that you got so little sleep there. There, eight. There, there, there. Yeah. Sorry, my brain just lagged. I'm tired, you guys. I am mentally fucking exhausted. I learned that progressive women are actually help helpless damsels that need a real man to save them. Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright. Helpless damsel. I see. Is that what I am? Shit. Learn something new every fucking day, don't we? God, I hope I'm not a fucking helpless damsel. I hope I don't need a man to save me. Shit. I think I do pretty alright. All things considered. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got my bestie. Who I talk to all the fucking time. But, uh, my bestie is in no way saving me.
Yeah, I saw that carnivorous. Uh, and of course, Alan got to him first. What do you expect? It's Alan. Alan does not bite his tongue. And that's what we appreciate about Alan. So yes, for anyone that pops in and out, uh, please be sure to vote in the poll because I would love to know which thing y'all want me to stream about first because that one will be done this week and the other one will be done next week because those are all researched up and ready to go. With plenty of sources. Because that's how we do. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Have you had any new uh, scammers trying to get your attention lately? Those just, those give me such a giggle. Oh my goodness. You're just, you're so nonchalant with them. So blasé the entire time. It's, it's brilliant. I love it. Everyone should handle scammers the same way that Bill does. Oh, no new ones? That's sad. You're, the scammers that work with you currently are probably just really confused. Because you don't respond the same way that like most people would. You're just like, oh. No. <laughs> Send them pictures of yourself with tortillas. Just brilliant. All around. Absolute brilliance. All right, so once all of these pieces are separated, we're then going to separate the other pieces into picture and letters, and then we'll get started on assembling everything, because that's how I like to do these puzzles. These puzzles I have yet, these uh, ones with the words and the pictures on them, I have yet to do with small human because we're still working on uh, identifying patterns in like picture only puzzles. So the, uh, the other puzzles that I have, the ones that I've done on air and stuff like that, like I've done those with small human and he loves those. It's so much fun. I like being able to do those with him. Because it helps with certain motor skills. Will, you got any good plans for today? This week? Anything? I now know what it's like to be someone who gets unsolicited dick pics, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it fun? Isn't it just so great? Oh, wait. That's an edge piece. You don't go in there. You go over here. God damn it. Get the other, Ashley. Mango. Y'all didn't hear that. I fucked up. Anyway. I'm tired. Okay. Let's ignore that. Uh, who are you apologizing to for being rude there, carnivorous? Uh... Oh, nice. Tuesdays and Wednesdays? Very nice, very nice. Oh, you're apologizing to two guns. Got you. How oh, fun! Camping is always a fun thing to do with these small humans that are able to handle it. Here's my thing. There we go. By the way, I'm still just so tickled that people like my, uh, my puzzle sorter. They're just little puzzles. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, Lizard. Uh, I hope that you feel better soon. Seems like everyone is getting sick lately, or everyone has been super exhausted lately, and such is life. Also, it's like right at that weird point between spring and winter where everyone just gets fucking sick as shit. Fucking sucks. I myself would love to go back to bed right now. I would also love to get some answers as to who this mystery person on my ancestry thing is. I don't know that bitch. Oh yeah, my ancestry results came in, guys. I still gotta finish looking over them. And, uh... Gotta look over them with my bestie. But, yeah. Oh yes, the number of people watching has increased, so a uh, friendly reminder that there should be a poll in the chat. Please vote in it to decide uh, which informational stream I will be doing this week. The other informational stream will get done next week. So yeah. Oh. Sweet, there's two premieres coming up in 30 minutes. Mm, that's fair. I too have been in bed since uh, yesterday evening. <laughs> and this is my chance to not be in bed and force myself to be awake. Do I want to be awake? Fuck no. I'd rather just sleep. I had to relive eight years worth of trauma yesterday in a small meeting, and I do not like that shit. I do not appreciate that shit. I do not want to do that shit ever again. Uh, and hopefully I will be able to talk about that shit soon. I am waiting to hear back from the investigator. Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. Let's see. Did I do your second TB test this week? Yeah. I mean, the TB test isn't too terrible, luckily, you know, they just poke you, and you wait, see what it does. I had to get a TB test done before I could, uh, go to culinary school, actually. One of my friends was super pissed, because she got her test done, and it came back positive, and so she couldn't drink or do anything fun for nine months. And she was like, Jesus Christ, it's like being pregnant without an actual end goal. Okay, so we've got our edges sorted out. Those are there. Now, what we want to do for this puzzle is we're going to take the center pieces. We're going to divide them into pictures and letters because it helps everything go easier. That was part of your general physical. Ours was just like uh, for health and safety reasons because immunocompromised people. I don't know. By the way, had to get it done. Got it done. Oh, but yeah. So how is everyone? What's going on? People that are at work, how's work? Is it boring? Is it fun? I actually kind of wish I was working today, but I don't think I could handle it, like, mentally. Mm. You took half a bottle of NyQuil and still tossed and turned on it? Oof. Oof. That sounds disgusting. 
NyQuil is fucking disgusting, just in general. Ugh. I thought of chugging half a bottle of it, though. Just, ugh. Ugh. Wait a minute. It's lettering. I think I messed up. God damn it. Not letter. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's only so much that you can do. Yeah, yeah. I imagine that, you know, Graveyard Shift is pretty fucking boring. Yeah, it's like 36, and it's cold, and I don't like the cold, and I don't know. I'd like to be back in bed. I would like to be in my heap, please. So are we all just like dying in our various states of being cold and tired and just over everything? That's nice. I'm glad that there's some sort of camaraderie in that. It's a lovely feeling, don't you think? So that we're all suffering together. Anyway. So, I have an entire big long list of things that I need to finish researching out for the channel. Uh, Derpy Girl is in the kitchen with my mom. Because mom's home today. Because it's nice for me to uh, have someone here. It's important that I have someone here, actually. Let's put it that way. Yeah, she's derpy derping about. She didn't want to come inside from outside. And she went potty. She was just, she was derpy derping. And it was adorable. She's an adorable derp. I love my derp. I'm never giving her back. That's my derpy derp. And she just wants to play. She just wants to be loved. But yes, uh, people that pop in and out and do whatever, please, by all means, vote in the poll if it's still up. I can't tell if it's up. I know I posted it from YouTube. It might still be there. It might not. I have no idea. But yes, vote. Because I would love to know which stream to do this week. Uh, I have, and knowing that I have a stream for this week and next week already planned out, that gives me more time to research the other streams that I have. Which I am super excited to be as organized as I am because it makes running this channel just so much easier. Oh my gosh. Like just having everything planned out in advance makes it so smooth. And for those of you that don't know, right now I am sorting out uh, pieces with just picture on them from pieces with lettering. 
And some pieces with lettering do have picture on them, but I'd rather have all the lettering like done together. Because it makes it easier for me. And I know not everyone's going to have the same technique when it comes to sorting and putting together puzzles. Some people don't even sort as meticulously as I do. And that's fine. You do you, boo. But, like, this is how I do. Just, it's so much easier for my brain. And when I go to put together the puzzle, I actually tend to do... The, for this type of puzzle, it'll be edges first, then it'll be the lettering, then it'll be the pictures. Much easier, in my opinion. Um, in just a minute, you guys, because I'm almost done sorting everything, I'm going to put out... A link for whoever wants to jump in. Do the thing. No. It doesn't matter. It's it's a nice calm day. I'm just trying to keep myself awake. I don't need to sleep anymore. At least not until tonight. Or maybe take a nap when small human gets home. I don't know. By the way, I need to stay awake right now. So, yes, I will. As soon as I'm done sorting these, I'll put out a link. People can jump in if they want. They can stay out if they want. It does not matter. It's a morning. You can shoot the shit about whatever. It does not matter. Just as long as, you know, you're nice and respectful. And all of those fun things. things that I'm most excited about is researching uh, weight loss shows, because one of the weight loss shows on the list of weight loss shows I'm going to be looking at actually took place at one of the uh, Aspen Education Group weight loss camps, or schools, rather, school, use that term very, very loosely, um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting, because these types of places don't set you up for, like, success. They don't set, like, weight loss shows in general don't set you up for uh, maintaining what you have lost weight-wise. They don't prepare you for real-world influences. And so, like, it's just, it's pointless. Like, going on those weight loss shows is absolutely pointless because you're not going to maintain. You're not going to keep the weight off. You're very likely going to gain it all back within the first few months of being home because you're not under that strict control. It's pretty awful, in my opinion. Also going to take a look at uh, like addiction shows, shows about addiction and how those are also like not good. Uh, please do not lie to your loved ones that are struggling with addiction and tell them that they're filming a documentary about them and their addiction when really you're just going to force an intervention on them on national television. That's not cool. That's that's wildly not cool. I'm 
I'm also really excited to look at the evolution of censorship on television because it has come a long way and there are such wildly different rules for network television versus cable television. Like Saturday mornings on network television, you have to show uh, content that falls under the EI rating, the educational informative rating for the first like from like it's 6 a.m. I think is the start time until like 10, 11 a.m. But it's like required by the FCC for you to do that. And it's very specifically the EI uh, rating. And the very first show to get that rating was Saved by the Bell. And Saved by the Bell isn't even educational or informative. Why I got that rating, I have no clue. Okay. Almost done with sorting these up. Wonderful. Excellent. Good stuff. Thank you to everyone that's here. I greatly appreciate it. You are all just wonderful people. Uh, here in about 10 minutes, I do believe, uh, Frank has a premiere happening over on his channel, and y'all are more than welcome to go check it out. I also know that in about 10 minutes, Drag is going live on his channel, so, you know, feel free to head over there. I know that everyone needs a dose of lol cows every now and then. And that's fine. I do not mind. I am just here doing a puzzle to help with my anxiety and my stress and to keep me awake. So yeah. Uh, if anyone needs me to post links to those streams, then I will gladly. But until then, you know, just know that those are happening in about 10 minutes. All of those pieces are sorted, which means that we can get started with our edges. These over here. Grab my edges. Okay. And yes, but the that episode was very much a one-off episode. Um, otherwise, Saved by the Bell did not have, like, educational or informative things going on. Um, let's see. If anyone would like to jump in, shoot the shit, do whatever, the link is now in the chat. I just request that, you know, you not be a dick. And I think that's fair. I think that's easy to do, don't you? So yeah, anyone's more than welcome to join, talk about whatever. I also am super excited Ooh. already. It's two guns. Morning. Good morning. What's happening? Oh. Ah, well, you know, just puzzling. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. I'm just an Excel monkey, as usual. Well, I mean, it's better than doing absolutely nothing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, getting paid is nice. Yeah, yeah, that. I like money. Money. You know, I do like money too. <laughs> money is very nice. Um. In fact, uh, when I get paid this weekend, I'm going to spend some of that money on more puzzles. Because um, I can. You know, um, I'm beginning to think you might have a problem, Mango. I, I want you to know that there are resources out there for you. 
Um, ah. You know, if you have a puzzle addiction, there's a hotline you can call and a support network. Just wait in if, if you need help. Okay. Or, or <laughs> I can just keep doing puzzles and pretend that it's not a problem. Oh yeah, you know that's the best way to handle your problems is to pretend they aren't problems. Yeah, yeah. See, um, and at least it's a problem in which I put together just a bunch of puzzles all the time, and like. I'm not just, you know, sitting on my ass, uh, begging money off the internet, pretending that I lost my key fob or something like that, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I fast forward 30 years and, and you're going to be trying to make puzzles out of people and you're going to be on the nightly news, you know, and, and, and not so flattering a light. I'm just saying. Look, we don't talk about my people puzzles, okay? <laughs> I don't know where you got this information from, but uh, <laughs> shh. <laughs> <laughs> the shin bone's connected to the neck bone. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh, Bill, I'm sorry that your dog ate a fortune cookie fortune. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh. Hey, Chris Durham. It's so wonderful to see you here. And yes, people are quite puzzling. But um, this is a friendly reminder that my channel does not endorse turning people into puzzles. That's not true. Most of, most of your puzzles are people. Admit it. Admit it. I don't know what you're talking about. There, you have a basement full of freezers with human puzzle parts. I'm on to you. I'm if you here. don't quit, I, I will kick you out of here. God damn it. <laughs> quit revealing my secrets. <laughs> yeah, you Ow. Okay, hurt quit hurting yourself. Like, why did you come in here knowing that it would hurt when you laugh? <laughs> uh, well, because, because, look, maybe I want to make puzzles out of my internal organs, okay? I'm just accelerating the process. Okay, well, that's that's fair. That's very much a fair thing to do. Like, <laughs> oh, can I add you to the people puzzles? I mean, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, oh boy, I can't wait for this opportunity. <laughs> just, just hit me up in the DMs. It's cool. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Human puzzles. I don't get why more people don't agree to be human puzzles. It's not that bad. I mean, what? Look, once you're switched off, you don't even know what's happening, right? So who cares? Yeah, exactly. Like, I yeah. choose to donate my body to puzzles. <laughs> Science can go fuck itself. We need more human puzzles. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you. At least someone understands. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I'm always in your corner, man. You want to make some horrific flesh corner, golems? You know. I'm, I'm, if you're if you're looking to make some horrific flesh golems in your spare time, who am I to judge? Huh, yeah. You know. That's fair. I mean, you probably should judge like a lot, but you know, <laughs> I'm not going to stop you from like not no. judging me. No. Okay, so I, um, since this meme has been running, I, I don't watch very many horror movies, but I did see, and I'm wondering if you saw The House That Jack Built. I did not see that movie. It, um, the ending really is what made me think of it, and I don't want to necessarily spoil it if, if you like, um, like serial killer horror movies, but. It's about a serial killer. He kills people and he stores their bodies in a freezer and, you know, <laughs> does stuff. Not not like sex stuff, but just like poses them and takes pictures. And it's real weird. I would, I would hope that it wasn't sex stuff because um, that would be even weirder. Of course. Yeah. Um, of course it would. But, you know, I mean, serial killers do weird shit beyond the killing part, usually. So, you know. Yeah, generally, generally they do. Yes, it is a it is of course a movie. I don't know if it's based on anything real. It easily could be. Mm -hmm. Um, but the house that Jack built it definitely um 
it definitely uh i mean me who is susceptible to horror movies and that's kind of why i don't watch them uh, you know go out, of my, go out of my way to watch them um it was uh, it was it was thought-provoking and pretty good hmm. and also i hated it because i hate horror movies <laughs> Uh, the only horror movies that I really like watching are shitty C-list horror movies. Like uh, the most recent one that I saw was Sunday night. I watched Empire of the Apes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a Planet of the Apes knockoff. Yes, it is absolutely terrible. Should mm -hmm. everyone watch it? Fuck yes, they should because it's <laughs> terrible. And then uh, next week we're going to watch revolt of the empire of the apes <laughs> oh no they're really leaning into the ripoff aren't they oh there's a third one that just came out this year called invasion of the empire of the apes <laughs> oh my god can we put a memorandum and or sign a law that 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 prohibits titles of anything from using of the more than once because <laughs> The the, the 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 invasion of the planet of the of the dildo of the apes is a fucking retarded name. Excuse me, a poor naming convention. Uh, uh, it is a I very hate. poor naming convention, uh, but at the same time, the movies are terrible. Ergo, fantastic. <laughs> like, who, who doesn't enjoy movies like that? Besides the majority of the population. <laughs> Besides most people, yeah, I mean, who cares about them? Yeah, that's um, just people. People aren't yeah. cool. They're dumb. Uh, see, Chris Durham gets it. See, he makes a uh, he makes board games out of people, not puzzles. Uh, you know that's that that's a uh, that's equally valid. Um, all power to you. I wonder what trouble would be like with people. Ooh, trouble is a fun game. <laughs> How do you, how do you how do you work how do you do how do you design the the popper in the middle of the board with just people? That's what I want. Ooh, that's a fair question, <laughs> Mister. I know you're not feeling well. You don't have to jump in if you're not feeling well. It's fine. No, you do have to jump in, sir. You're you're, you're obligated by contract, or else we're gonna come over to your house and beat you up, probably. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, here we Minecraft. go. I missed where uh, Chris Durham asked how he's doing. There, aha. Because I can read. I'm totally paying attention and being like the best fucking host ever. I've never met a better host in my life, personally. <laughs> okay, you don't have to lie to make me feel better. Like it, it's cool. Well, I'm a compulsive liar, so I'm gonna. Um... Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes <laughs> no. sense then. No, I got you. <laughs> so, uh, just deal with it, I guess, or whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, like, 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 Z-list horror movies are not something I've gone out of my way to see until basically I started watching movies with Miss Parker and her server pretty recently, and now mm. I'm totally on board. I'm 100 percent on board. Uh, um, I'm a, I don't have my own like tastes in that vein, so I'm always down to watch <laughs> like you know with a group. Uh, well, see, I'm not in Miss Parker's server, so I didn't know that she was doing the Z list movies in her thing. So, well, you should get cool. your, you should get your fat ass in there. What are you doing? Um, uh, it's for you know fucking oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm not a patron, and so I'm no. not in there. But I mean, it's fun. Rest. Cause like my my Z list horror movies I watch uh, in private with one of my favorite people. We mm -hmm. have a movie night every Sunday night. Sometimes we move it to Monday because like we're adults and we have things to do. Mm -hmm. But it's it's my favorite day of the week. I absolutely love it. Hey, Mary. I, I am certain that Miss Parker at Al could be coaxed into watching, into having a movie night in a different server. You know, this one, BGTV, whatever. Uh, I'm sure of it, because she loved that shit. Um, and she has a gigantic list of movies that I've certainly never heard of. Maybe you have. Um, Probably have. Because uh, I'm introducing my movie buddy to all of my favorite ones, and I'm introducing him to ones that I have also never seen before. 
So I'm going in mm. just as blind as he is, and we're both hating ourselves but loving it at the same time. It's the funnest. Everyone should enjoy shitty movies together. Mm-hmm. Good. They make the world go round. You have a bruise on chin? Don't know how it got there. Hi, welcome to the wonderful world of ADHD, where, well, everything gets bumped and bruised, and you never know where it comes from. <laughs> Fucking hate that shit so much. Ugh. Fucking worst. Uh, I don't know what you're confused about there, Carnivorous, but I'm sorry that you're confused. Mm. Moving along. Let's see. Where do you go? You No, you don't go there. Ooh, 1950s and 60s sci-fi B-movies? Aw. Oh. What's your favorite uh, sci-fi B-movie there, Chris Durham? I'd love to know. Oh, let's see. I know that one of the movies that we're going to be watching at some point is... Uh, Jurassic Shark 2. <laughs> Yay. Of course, I need to find Jurassic Shark because I haven't seen that one yet. But the second one's available on Tubi. Like, you can find most of these movies on Tubi for free. That I certainly believe. Yeah. Tubi's the best. Everyone should use it. I highly recommend 10 out of 10 ridiculous service. Mm, let's see. Okay. Oh, that goes over there. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Aha. Figuring this out. All of them, Chris. <laughs> Every of them. That's fair. I can understand that. Who doesn't love, like, all of the terrible movies? Oh, Mary, I too have the combination ADHD. Uh, inattentive and hyperactive. It's the best. Cook a combo. It's the best for no one because I hurt myself all the time. I am so glad that I am no longer staying in a house with stairs because uh, I have fallen down my stairs probably once or twice a week. Oh my god. <laughs> I broke my so, leg in a hallway. <laughs> so, so Mango, um, I want to introduce you to this concept called gravity. Oh, man. I have yeah, never heard wins. of this before. It, really? It always wins. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> this right here is fascinating. Uh, please, tell me more about gravity. <laughs> well, it's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop yourself from getting, you know, from, from self-face-planting into the earth. By using your feet and your legs and your inner ear to balance. Ooh, yeah, about that. Uh, I have vertigo. Oh, well, stop it. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Mary, I have fallen up the stairs plenty of times. I've probably fallen up the stairs more than I have down. Yeah, right? Um, because, like, I'll, I'll just, like, you know, lift my foot and, like, It'll. I don't lift it high enough, and it catches on the lip of the next step, and then like, funk. Oops. Um. When I'm going down, I'm like, you know, hand on the railing, like paying much more attention because, you know, I'm aware of this thing called gravity. I'm like some mangoes I could name. Um. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> not fair. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not timed out or blocked or anything there, Carnivorous. You're you're still here. We see you. You're right there. You're right there. No worries. You're there. Okay, let's see. Almost done with the edge of this puzzle. I cannot wait until I get a better rig for an overhead camera setup. Because, like, I found one on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks. So I'll probably pick it up when I get paid. Mm. But it, like, it attaches to the edge of the desk, much like a, a mic arm does. Okay. Yeah, and I think it'll make things a lot easier for doing puzzles. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you got a pretty good... um. Yeah, this is a solid angle, but but I think, um, yeah, if you think it'll improve, that's awesome. Yeah, like a, an overhead setup, like a full overhead setup will definitely be a lot better for when I do like the thousand piece puzzles and stuff. Yeah. Because I really want to do some of those because I have some and they're awesome, but like can't exactly do them if you can't see them. That piece goes there. That goes there. Which goes there. Which goes there. Aha! Which I need to back this up a little bit. Hello. Attach there. And go there. Ha! Huh. Edge done. Awesome. Yes. Probably can't because my nice. angle's kind of like fucky. But haha, -ha. I need to trim my nails. All right, moving up. Now we're gonna do ah, lettering because I love lettering. Oh, uh, for those that want to jump in and shoot shit and whatever, the streamyard link. Is thither. Uh, I want to try. He's going to try something. Disappeared. He will be back. I'm sure of it. Let's see. Um, and don't forget, everyone, that tonight. Lizard is going to be on his backup channel covering Ukraine and Russia. So please be sure to check out that channel here, which will be in the chat as well. Uh, we have a charity thing coming up that we teamed up on. And it's going to be just terrible for both me and him, but wonderful for people of Ukraine and for charities that work in Ukraine. So, yeah. Two Guns Thanks. is back. Welcome back. Thanks. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're fine. Move that over so people can see it a bit better. All right. Now let's figure out this lettering because, well, lettering. Y'all have been here with me for an hour for some fucking reason, and I greatly appreciate every single one of you. No clue why y'all would want to be here that long, but you know. Yeah, I know. Who, who, you're so you're so weird. Who would ever hang out here? Right? Jesus. Have y'all met me? I'm awkward as shit. But, you know, I'm not going to be Gross. too mad that y'all want to spend time with me because I really appreciate it. Who does puzzles? Ew. Gross. I know. Who sits down and does multiple puzzles on stream all the time? Weirdos, that's who. <laughs> oh, I am super duper excited to be able to do more puzzles on stream. Because they are just my absolute favorite thing ever. I 
also can't wait to do more of like the fucking uh, informational streams that I like to do. You do a good job with them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. There's something about researching stuff just like it tickles the ADHD. Makes it quite happy. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to use StreamYard, Mary? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Are you just trying to join in or are you trying to do something with it specifically? I'll probably just join in because like it it always gets a little fucky whenever she tries to use it. Yeah. Mm. Oh hey Slim. How was the uh, the show this weekend? Was it good? And yes, Mary, I uh, I do have all of the research already done for the Troubled Teen Industry stream. I also have all of the research done for the uh, 16 and Pregnant history stream. So yeah, it, as soon as everyone like votes on it and stuff, whichever one gets selected, I will do this week. And the other one I will do next week. Because they're both ready to go. I just, I don't like to stream too much in one week. It makes me tired. I don't know if that's because I'm old. You're not boomerish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, one of the things that I want to look at with that show, Mary, is uh, how it actually had no effect on teen pregnancy rates or anything. The brief rise in teen pregnancy rates before the show even started was actually for very specific reasons. And then the decline of teen pregnancy again, like right before the show ever aired, is also a factor into it. But they love to be like, oh, no, it was all because of this. No. There's other things. There's a lot of things that go into it. Uh... Do, 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 do. Where in the fuck? Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I mean, I, I've been talking to you whenever I see your messages there, so I don't know what the issue is, but all right then, later, Carnivorous. See Let's see. Anyway, I am so fucking exhausted, you guys. Oh, my God. I would love to go back to bed so much, but I need to stay awake. Because yesterday, after I got done doing everything that I needed to do, I ended up uh, taking a nap from 1 p.m. until around 3.30. And then I went back to sleep from 
around four four thirty ish after I got off the phone until eight something, and then I ate, and then I went back to bed. I've slept too much. Don't knock it off. Stompy. Oh, I can't. I'm tired. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be whiny. Oh. Actually, I try to avoid being whiny as much as I can because, like, <sighs> overly whiny women get on my fucking nerves. Well, I mean, people get on my fucking nerves. And people do get on my nerves. I greatly dislike people. Hmm. Yeah, whiny. Just, just shut up. Like. Complain like an adult, damn it. Oh, God. One of the fucking people in the terrible movie that I was watching Sunday night, uh, she was apparently supposed to be an adult, but whined like a child all the mm. time. Mm. I, I don't remember what her name was in the movie, but I kept calling her bitch face. Mm. Shut up, bitch face. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it, 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 there was Brittany, Tiffany, and Bitchface because there were <laughs> two generic white chicks and then Bitchface. <laughs> it was the who only was just a, I, <clears throat> who I presume who I presume was another generic white chick, but with a RVF. Uh no, she just. Uh, she was another generic white chick, yes, but yeah. she just, she whined at everything. And she sounded like a child when she whined. And, like, her face said 40, but her voice said late teens and whining. <laughs> 14. <laughs> yeah. And it was terrible. 40 going I on 14. It. Yeah. it was terrible. No one, no one should ever do that. Ever. I mean, the number of adults that I've dealt with in my, you know, years just also being an adult, whether professionally or just in passing, right. who are complete petulant children still is is genuinely shocking. Yeah, it that it, it truly is. I, I don't get it. It's like how are you how do you even like Pay your taxes or like go to the voting booth or anything if your life is this hard for you. Like, uh, they don't. Oh, they do though. They do? How? What? Vote. Pay, you know, like put, put, put gas in their car, go to work. Like they, they're, they're ostensibly functional adults who just, you know, if one thing goes awry, their whole world is shattered. And how. No, I just don't understand. But and and yet they persist. It's very huh. strange. That that is very very strange. I don't like that. Me neither. I, I think it's just another another symptom of the fact that natural selection no longer applies to humans. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <this>. <laughs> the, uh, the the old the 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 double edged sword of of uh, technology, progress, medicine, all that jazz is that um, it uh, it it blunts uh, nature's tools of calling the weak. <laughs> like, frankly, myself, um, I'd probably be dead. Uh, but, that was nice. But uh, I'm here, you know, because because like nature and natural selection and all that works on a works on a system of good enough, you know. <laughs> Where where so many people you know are are so conceited about humanity and like oh we're you know we're perfect we're you know God's image yada yada it's like no nah, dude this is good enough good enough to make it to the procreation stage and and make the species persist you know yeah I it's got not you. there's no plan it's just like ah. Eh. You survived to adulthood and you managed to procreate. Good work. That's now nice. all your fucked up little genes get to go on to the next to the next generation. Hooray. <laughs> to say nothing of the upbringing component. 
Uh, friendly reminder for those that don't know. I do believe that uh, Dragnaut's live. Did Drago live? Yeah, I, I think it was supposed one. to, yeah. Hmm. But I do know that uh, Frank did post a premiere, so everyone go check that out. Uh, please do not feel obligated to sit around and listen to me. Oh, he had to update drivers? Gotcha, gotcha. That sucks. I hate when that happens. With any luck, it won't completely fuck his whole streaming setup. Yeah. Because Windows loves to do that. Mm, my favorite thing is uh, when they don't tell you that Windows 11 doesn't support like the vast majority of things that you use for streaming. Yeah, no, I didn't. I, I, I'm still on Windows 10. Um, for sure. Yeah, lucky you. I don't even stream really. Like, I mean, I dabbled with briefly, but never really did it. And and even then, it'll still break other stuff. It'll break like settings for certain video games. It'll fuck with my audio settings because I have a you know, I do music and um, so I have like a bunch of different audio uh, routing solutions depending on what I'm doing. It'll fuck up all those. Just like, why? Why are you even touching this stuff? But it does. Oh, I'm glad you like it here, Mary. That means a lot to me. Oh. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for all cows this morning. I had someone DM me after my last puzzle stream and tell me that I was thanking people too much. What? Yeah, because, uh, you know, my last puzzle stream, I thanked everyone for being here on a regular basis because, well... Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Y'all could be literally anywhere else on the internet, and y'all chose to be here. So thank you. But apparently I was saying thank you too much. Well, how dare you be so goddamn grateful, you big jerk. Yeah, I know. I just... What the fuck? What Clearly, the fuck? I need to learn how to, like, not be polite. Ooh. Yeah, just be, just, just, just be, like, presumptuous and, uh, and, and, uh, entitled. Mm, but that's that's like that's how you get far in life. Is it? I oh I didn't (laughs) know that. I'm uncomfortable with that. Look, just look at Shani and Rev and see where got them. You know, they're they're raving successes. Mm, Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Uh no. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, just just for uh clarity's sake, uh no. <laughs> oh hey gray man so nice to see you here uh and yes it is quite the fun puzzle it is uh james and the giant peach and james and the giant peach is one of my favorite books and it's one of my favorite movies and you said that this is art from the book correct yes cool the art on this puzzle is very much from the book, and it just, it's so good. I fucking, uh, I love puzzles like this. And yes, I do have some massive cunt energy, mm-hmm. Mary Sunshine. I am the cuntiest of the cunts. Got that big cunt energy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than having, like, raw meat energy. <laughs> I mean, do you even call that energy or just like, you know, a CDC call or something? FDA or whatever. Uh, I think that would qualify an FDA call. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, hi. Um, I'd like to report some, some raw meat energy <laughs> coming from that hotel room. <laughs> Please send, send a team. Bring bring extra hazmat suits. The extra hazmat suits are like super important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the puffy lips. 
Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking great. <laughs> oh, and Coraline. Okay, when it comes to Coraline, they somehow manage to make the movie more creepy than the book, even with adding an extra character to try and dull down the creepiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know shit about Coraline. Okay, so in the book, like, Coraline is doing her thing by herself. Like, she doesn't have a friend. She doesn't have anyone. She's in this new place by herself figuring things out. Well, the movie decided to add a best friend for her. And this best friend was, you know, close in age, also lived in the same place. Like, his grandma owned the building and stuff. So it made sense that, like, he was always around. Cool. She has a friend. Uh, but somehow adding the friend didn't help anything because the button-eyed people were way fucking creepier than they had described in the book. And it just, it was fucked up. How that was classified as a children's movie, I don't know. But it was fucking amazing. Someone's here. Oh, it's Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hi. Can you hear me? We can yes. hear you. Yay! Woo! Neither of y'all hear an echo, right? Hi. Because I know that, like, when Lizard hosts and people jump in and it starts to echo, he can't hear it, so... It's... Uh, I don't hear an echo. Um, oh. It, it seems... That seems to happen once, like, a certain number of people are in the room, I think. I hear like, a lag. Like, yeah. maybe when it hits, like, four or five. I don't know. Uh, I don't stream myself, so that's just what I noticed. Yeah, there is a... 10 second delay between uh, StreamYard and like YouTube itself. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be some sort of lag, but I know that like the echo, I just, I'm so worried that it's going to start echoing and I won't know that it's echoing because I can't hear it. Yeah. That is such a weird thing with StreamYards. I don't get it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it only happens with uh, once the room starts to get big. So hopefully yeah. that's true and we're all good. Well, we can hope. Also, thank you to everyone that's here again. Because I'm going to keep being fucking polite and saying thank you guys. Uh, Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, you're so thankful. God. Oh my God. Wow. What How a jerk. Us. Thanking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got snorts now. Snort squeaks. Woo! No, she chirps, I snort. Like that, it's been known. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I need to figure out some kind of weird noise I can make when I laugh. Um, <laughs> so, uh, 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 I need time to develop my. Uh, c c is there a government grant I can get to develop my silly laugh noise? <laughs> uh, you you have to apply to multiple governments and sort of see what happens. Hmm, I see. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> that, that that was a it, it was a soft reference to the Monty Python skit, The Ministry of Silly Walks. Any uh, anyone familiar? Look, we everyone loves the Ministry of Silly Walks. Good, good. It good, is good, the good. most important organization to exist. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this goes hey. over here. Oh. A one-pound bird though. cannot carry a two-pound coconut. Just. <laughs> I mean, that's true. It is true. But what if they work together and tie it to <laughs> tie the coconut with a string? <laughs> <laughs> It's not a horse. You just gotta have some sort of coconut. You're banging them together. Fucking stop! Oh my I, god! I, 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 those were those were <laughs> clutched poor quotes. But I used to know that movie 
front to back and back to front. I could quote the whole thing start to finish. Not not anymore, but but once upon a time. <laughs> oh, I used so to watch great. that movie so much. It was, mm. so, yes. it was so fucking good. Yes. Yeah. The 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 first time I saw it, it was uh, we were in, I was in middle school and we had um my district had block scheduling, so it was kind of more like college classes. Um, so it was like. Uh, 80 minute periods, but you'd had fewer periods per day. Yeah. And we already take, it was like eighth grade finals. Uh, we, we already took all our finals, but we still had to go show up to class for a few more days before summer started. And all of my classes, except for Jim, of course, were showing movies. And I don't know if they planned it. I don't see why they would. But every single class I was in played Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And here's the thing about that movie. It's longer than 80 minutes. So I watched the first 75, 80 minutes of that movie four times in oh one my day God. without seeing the end. No. And I went home and I was like, I need to see the end of this fucking movie. <laughs> And my mom had it has it on DVD, and I popped it in and watched it again the whole way through. Oh God. And and then I saw the end, and I and I, you know, I'm like 14 years old or what, 13 or something, and I'm sitting there on my couch just staring at that blank screen with that intermission with that intermission music at the end for like 10 minutes or whatever, and I'm like, there's no fucking way that this is how the movie ends. There's no way. And sure enough, that's how the movie ends. And boy, if you have, like, I then proceeded to watch that movie, like, several times a week that entire summer, because I was so enthralled with how ridiculous it was. Uh, <laughs> but that... <laughs> fuck. <coughs> but that was my uh, induction into Monty Python and that movie. Freaking uh, Blazing Saddles. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, uh, so update on Lizard Stream probably going to end up streaming early, so like six o'clock ish. EST, so that's cool. Uh, everyone, Lizard, you have mods. Post your link to the backup channel because I've already posted it twice, and I'm in the middle of lettering, so I'm not gonna post it again. You do it. Wow, put him to work. He has the power. I post links for him all the time. Man, we can button. Damn. You're so demanding. Man, if only you were more polite. <laughs> <sighs> I can never win. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do all of his links, so he can post his own for once. Where does this piece go? Does this piece even go over here? Does it over here? It goes over here. Yeah. Holy shit, I think I, think I fixed it. I can still hear you. <gasps> but yeah. on YouTube, so you're muted. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Go tie. It was nice that you popped in at least for a second, though. Oh. Uh, have a safe flight. He's a rocket man. A rocket man. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Lizard posted the link. Because, like... He can do that. I really should be more polite, you guys. I'm so sorry. You're such a big jerk. I know. The fucking worst. <laughs> Why do you guys choose to hang out with me? I just... Uh, I don't get it. 
because of the massive cunt energy. Like mm, I just yes. absolutely love it. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like a fly to a zapper. I can't. I can't. I can't look away. Right. Just. Bzz. <laughs> Except you know whatever sound a huge cunt makes. Oh, okay. What sound would that be, you guys? Because I, I would, would, would it be like a queef or <laughs> a quiff? A quiff? A quiff? <laughs> <laughs> Big quiff energy. <Hedigen. laughs> How damn quiffs? My wife quaffed in my face. <laughs> Right, <laughs> oh, his poor face. <laughs> oh, my good Lord, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to rewatch some of those episodes because oh. they were some of the best, absolute best. South Park is. Mm. It's so mm. good, so good. It, even, even the seasons and episodes that people say are kind of meh or even bad, I don't care. I love them. I don't care. I don't care. I just love everything that those guys make. Um, I can see the quality differential and everything, but it doesn't matter. I'll still watch it. Right. The Winter Woodland Christmas, like, episode. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) So dark and just, ooh, I love it. (laughs) So good. (laughs) Let's gouge out her eyeballs and urinate in the hole. (laughs) (laughs) I just I don't get why people are so against South Park like yeah some of the episodes I can see where people are just like uh it was meh but come on guys I think think so much of their humor is just ooh Ooh, (laughs) Mexican Joker (laughs) yeah Mm. Mm. That one. So, so much of their humor is just cr- being crass for crassness' sake, you know. And I yeah. think I think that puts people off. But those people are pussies, so mm. I don't care. <laughs> that's that's a fair assessment. <laughs> like, oh, they do potty jokes. Like, yeah, potty jokes are funny, and if they're not yes, funny to you, then funny. you funny. Like, grew up too oh fast. My God. <laughs> gonna be 38 this year and I still find burps hope fucking hilarious good that's the sign of maturity <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the one that's really? the one <laughs> <laughs> so many other things it could be but no that's it that's the one yep Okay, and uh, well, your your resume looks good, and your qualifications are are well above par for what we need for this role. But the my last question for you in this in this interview uh, is: um, <laughs> Do you find burps funny? <laughs> yes, yes. I've always I've always enjoyed a good burp or a good fart or a good it, it, even a queef, an occasional <laughs> well timed <laughs> raucous queef. Just gets my goat every time. <laughs> Mine too. You're hired. <laughs> this is how the world should work. Oh my god! My I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. Just mm-mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, I do love a raucous queef. (laughs) I hate you. Oh, my God. No. No. 
No, you don't hate him. You love us. You love us very much, which is why you're here. <laughs> Y'all got me snorting before 12 a.m. p.m. <laughs> we know time. I was a boy growing up in the swamps of Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather would be sitting out on his front porch with a bottle of bourbon, slowly rocking in his favorite chair. Stop it. And he would, uh, as I'd be playing with my muddled airplane in front of him on the porch, once in a while he would roll up one cheek and let loose a little squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> and every time he did, I would turn around and scrunch my face. And just as the smell hit my nostrils. <laughs> and he would look at me like he was challenging me to defy his right to Yeah, fight. I did it, so what? <laughs> that was my that was my best Morgan Freeman, that's all I got. That was horrible. Oh my god. That was amazing. What do you mean horrible? That was so great. <laughs> Wait, why did I come here? Oh my god, you guys are horrible. Did, did, did I paint a um? Did, did, did I paint an adequate picture in your in your mind? Yes, yes, yes. you did. Okay, good. Could, could, could you smell like the grits and beans in the fart? <laughs> I yes, I could. Thank I could. you very much. Uh, and I'm okra. All about, I'm all about a good story. You, know. you have to include the okra. If the okra is not there, then <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! Uh, for people that may have just tuned in, um, this is supposed to be a puzzle stream where we relax <laughs> and do puzzles. Still <laughs> is. Thank you. <laughs> and instead, uh, right now, we are all just reminiscing about okra farts, you know? <laughs> okra beads and rice. Uh, <laughs> yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, thank you for everyone that is here and everyone that uh, has been here. <laughs> everyone Please who hasn't immediately quit after that. <laughs> Yes, those people too. Uh, we love you. We appreciate For you. For real, though. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Especially after the quaff thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys are too much, and I love you greatly. And I am uh, so glad that y'all chose to join me today. Mm. Aw, I love you too. too. Uh, the room is still open for anyone else that would like to join us in our conversations about quiffs. <laughs> oh my goodness. We should start a channel. The snort and the squeak. Or the squeak oh. and the snort. <laughs> oh, snort and squeak. Uh, the, uh, the link to the room is uh, being posted in chat for anyone that wants to join in. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> my poll should still be running as well as to uh, which informational stream I will do this week, because oh. both are ready to go. Oh, and I, I love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Aww. I, I was not expecting to giggle this much this morning, but here we are. <laughs> really? Aww. I cannot keep my shit together. I wanted a good giggle, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And we are, like, a good bit of the way through this puzzle. All of the lettering's done. We're now just doing the pictures. We're an hour and a half in, which means that we might have time to do the second puzzle. Ooh! Yay! Yeah! Because it's the Matilda puzzle, and I love Matilda. Oh my god, I love that story so much. I know, it's so good. Isn't uh, it? <sighs> I'm just glad that there's someone else that appreciates Matilda as much as I do, because, like, it's fucking Matilda. 
Right? Like, she's great. Oh. Like, the entire story was good. I absolutely did adore the movie. I thought that Danny DeVito was perfect in his role. Yep. Because yep. he's fucking Danny DeVito and he's perfect in everything that he does. Yep. I liked him playing the penguin. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, good. so good. And I also liked him in, oh my goodness, Goodfellas? Was it? I think it was Goodfellas. Um, Had Ray Liotta and a and few others. I think it was Goodfellas. Well, I don't think DeVito was in Goodfellas, was he? Pesci you know was. Am I funny to you? Do I make you laugh? I'm, I'm going like, to look it up right now. That's I Joe Pesci. Him. Yeah, that's... Oh, Pesci. that is. Thank yeah. you. My bad. Wow. Oof. Oof. Oh, that's all I right. mixed them up and I know Joe Pesci it's, it's was easy, in to Goodfellas. That's a great movie, though. Danny DeVito has been in way too many things. Yeah. Right. So it's so easy to confuse him with other people. Same with Al Pacino. Like, yep. oh my god. Oh. I confuse Al Pacino and... Oh, who's... Mm. Jack Nicholson. There it oh, is. Yeah. Yep. I can understand that. I do that too. We just there are some actors that because they're typecast the way that they are, it's really easy to confuse them with other typecast people. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> oh, hey Blair, it's lovely to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I almost just dropped a whole bunch of pieces all at once. That would not have been good. I'm oh, fucking no. shit up. Oh, no. Fucking my own shit I gotta up pop off in like five minutes, but it's been great. Oh my gosh. Great. Thank you for being here. Like, it, this has been lovely. You guys yeah. are wonderful. So are you. Like, no. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we wouldn't, neither of us would be here if you weren't wonderful as well. No, so sweet. Mm. Y'all are gonna make me blush. Prove it. I'm not getting now. blush today. I look like Prove shit. It. <laughs> yeah, I look like a homeless man right now. It's fine. Yeah, today is one of those days where I'm just kind of like, mm, yeah, no, uh, I'm not going to be on camera even on my own channel. Uh, if people don't like that, they can suck it. Today is the day I don't want to shower, so I'm not putting myself out there. <laughs> Since like, I've been working oh. from home, I tend to not shower until like lunch. Like, it's understandable. And then, For real, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that way, if I have meetings in the afternoon um, that they want me to turn my camera on, I look fresh. Yep. If, if yep. they want me on in the morning, they don't get a uh -uh. camera. Meeting. Oh, well. And if they ask why, I say it's because my beard's going in four different directions. And they're like, well, we want to see that. And I say, do that. Tough shit. Like, only, a uh -uh. only a privileged few get to witness the compass beard that I wear. <laughs> North, south, east, and west. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, ideally, it's north, south, east, west. Usually, it's, you know, just random holes, you know. Mm. Just, it's not good. It looks like a kraken sprouting out of my face. Oh my god. Cthulhu. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Well, at least you're honest. Yeah. I mean, I like I'm gonna take a shower here in a little while because I need to probably take it before small human gets home, but 
I mean, it's still going to be less than 24 hours since my last shower, so I'm not too concerned. I think it's been under, yeah, same here. Hmm. I should probably shower too. Oh, because. Yeah. I just know that, like, I'm I'm a mentally... bit drunk and I sweat, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still mentally exhausted from things yesterday, and I would like to very much just go back to bed. But I'm doing this to force myself to stay oh, awake. No. Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. Let me tell you. You know what, Wizard? Wizard, I mm, you're looking for a fight. I know it. I can tell. Fight! 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 All right, I will get the sock and boppers. Oh my god! And we will fight in the hallway. Gonna get some moon shoes too. Fuck yeah, moon shoes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna sock and bopper fight in our moon shoes in the hallway, yes. and we're probably going to break all of the things. And I'll probably end up rebreaking my leg, but it's cool. While wearing a skip it. Oh, fucking, I hated goddamn skip it's Like, I, I hurt myself <laughs> way too often in those fucking things. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. I gotta go. Peace out. Oh, love you too. Thank you for joining us. Anytime. Oh, you'll definitely have an advantage, Lizard. Will you really have. How will you have the advantage? You know what? We'll, we'll talk about it later. DM me. We'll figure out everything. Ooh, Blair, I'm so glad that you got your name and sex changed on your license. Hey, -o, congrats. It's about time you were able to do that. I know that can be a, a pain in the dick depending on where you live, so good for you. I have, I have a cousin who's trans, and you know, he went through all all that, all that nonsense years ago before it was uh, as easy as it. I presume it's gotten easier over the years. Um, I, I think it. I think it's gotten easier in certain states, hmm. because you know there are still places like the South that are ass backwards and difficult to get anything done in. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Hallways are my uh, my only natural predator. <laughs> <laughs> um, please quit revealing my secrets there, Lizard. <laughs> to be fair, you revealed that secret earlier. I, I revealed that secret uh, plenty of times before, actually. Oh, welcome back, oh, Mary. So you, oh, so you have no excuse? Got it. Work meeting, but nope. So, oh. we. Yay! <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, the my, hallways are my natural predator. Uh, I I cannot with hallways. Stairs, they get me every time. Oh, mm. I have my own history with stairs, but hallways somehow are worse. And you know it's bad when an ADHD person is like, oh no, this this particular thing, worse. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be a worse thing for people, but well, I done fucked up, you guys. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, hallways hallways are going to end up being the death of me. Um I I can't escape the fact that I done fucked up and uh you know, broke my leg in a hallway. I slipped and fell in the hallway. That's all I did. It was very simple. I slipped and I fell in a hallway. A hallway. I hate myself, you guys. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat>
The only broken bone I have is from a snowboarding accident. Ooh. Somebody cut me off, so I had to shift, and I broke the upper, what is it, femur, I think, or the one that's above the knee. Femur. Yeah, I think that's femur. I'm pretty sure that's femur. That sucked so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I bet. Like, I mean, we need to quit injuring ourselves all the time. Put it on. Look, I understand that there is sometimes just the, the funness about hurting yourself, but <laughs> we, we've got to stop. It's time gotta to stop, stop here, running bro. into things. <laughs> No, I will forever run into all of the things because my spatial <laughs> awareness is terrible. I know. I know. That's why I don't drive. <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly oh really? Why I don't drive. You also yeah. don't drive? <laughs> Wait, you don't either? No, I don't fucking drive. Grr. <laughs> I don't fucking drive if I drive. Like, oh, I, I know how to drive. I do. Yes. Um, I absolutely do know how to drive. I don't have a license presently because, like, my anxiety would get so bad behind the wheel that, Same. like, I couldn't Same. do anything. Like, start bawling as soon as you sit back. Oh, my God. Yep. Like, as yep. soon as there was, like, just the slightest bit too much traffic, I was done. Like, I was crying. I yep. could not do it. But, like, oh my I god, that drive. person's gonna kill me because they don't know what they're doing. And they're like uh, forever in front of me, like just away from me, not going anywhere near me. Yeah, yeah. That's, yep. It's terrible. My husband's laughing at me now. He's just like, yep. And nodding and nodding. Laughing and nodding. <laughs> Like, I'm just, I'm glad that there's someone else that understands the pain and the struggle that is trying to navigate learning how to do things like driving when you're very badly ADHD. Yeah, it, well, I, I totally get fun. it. Well, you know, there's this new thing called getting good scrub. And you can sit oh. there. Oh, Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Get good scrub. <laughs> Damn, the amount of times I heard that playing Halo. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I punch. <laughs> no, femur fractures are no joke, Blair. Femur fractures fucking suck. Oh, thank you for everyone that has a. Uh, once again, because I thank people way too much. Stop thank it. you to everyone that has stopped by and joined in and partook in the absolute weirdness and craziness that is this stream. Uh, I love Stop all of you. Stop being so polite. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Damn. I just, Rude. The fuck? I have such a problem with being polite. Stop uh, it. I'm worse than the Canadians. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> oh, I just I, I don't know why people like this person in particular, I don't know why they took such an issue with me just thanking people for watching my stream. Like what else am I supposed to do? Just not it feels rude you have to demand that they watch mm, you better come very, watch right now i'm not a very demanding person in i'm fact, gonna make a puzzle <laughs> all of my streams that i do i remind people that other people are like live and doing stuff and they can leave if they want and it's fine i don't mind Uh, 
it it's going to be a rough time there blair uh yeah. generally that recovery does take some time and patience and uh from what i have heard from people that have gone through reassignment surgery it does take a bit of adjusting to no longer having the bits that you used to have mm -hmm. if um assuming this is still true i think that the uh i'm assuming you're going male to female um correct me if i'm wrong but uh i think that that is an easier time if i'm not mistaken comparatively to uh, in the other direction Comparatively, it's an easier time if you went through puberty as a male without mm. any uh, yeah. sort of hormone blockers or puberty blockers yeah. or anything. It mm -hmm. becomes a lot more difficult if you are, you know, older. And yes. Mm. It also becomes yeah. more difficult if you uh, did not go through, like, if you did the hormone blockers and everything and went through puberty without like growing the necessary skin bits that are needed to make sure that the surgery is successful. Mm. Uh, that was actually the problem that Jazz Jennings had. That's why it took her so long to recover and why she needed additional surgeries because oh, she had been on right. a, yeah, she had been on a hormone blocker since she was an early teenager and that actually messed with development of things that were necessary for surgery mm. so yeah that the, the whole the whole hormone therapy early on i mean i'm super not a doctor and you know d d don't take anything i say seriously but like it seems like an exceptionally bad idea to just willy-nilly start fucking with hormones before puberty um so i i i, I would be so fucking nervous in, in, in that in such a person's shoes um, because you just, at, at least, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure research is being conducted into, you know, how, how to improve the experience across the board with that, with, with, you know, all this stuff. Um, but it, hormones are just so spooky. Uh, it, I do uh, wish it would improve. My yeah. child is trans and I don't know how to help mm. them as much as they need. Like, um, yeah. If that if makes can, sense. It, if I may ask, how old? Gonna be twenty-one. Okay. In July. So not like young, young. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Well, hopefully, um, they get the the support and help they need. It sounds I, like you're on board at least, which is so much of the battle. You know. I'm always on board. Like yeah. they uh, came Blair, for me. Uh, Blair, there's no reason to uh, have a wrath. And want to debate they uh two guns was simply stating their own personal uh they they themselves do not understand or know the science behind messing with hormones before a certain age a lot yeah. of people don't they were just stating that they weren't trying to start a fight or anything no, like not that. Not They're not saying, oh, it's wrong to do this before this age. They were saying, I don't understand it because I am not a scientist. It just it just seems like there are so many problems that crop up. And I, I think it's just a function of the science not being fully fleshed out yet. But yeah, no, I'm I'm hundred percent supportive. I just I just worry about people fucking up their entire lives um while they're still trying to figure out who they are. Um yeah, the clarification would have been good there, Blair, because it is a very divisive topic, and there are a lot of people that would want to fight about it or debate about it in a non sarcastic okay. way. So, yeah, uh, don't worry. You're all good. Next time, the uh, the clarification would be helpful because this this is such a divisive topic, after yeah, all. Yeah, I think it's safe to say everyone here is an ally, at a minimum. Yes. Um, very much you so. Know, if, if, uh, and really with... I say this a thousand times a thousand times a day. I'm an expert on literally nothing. If I say something out of line and anyone needs to check me, uh, I'm always receptive to it. Like I don't want to. I'm not yeah, trying to step on any toes ever. Uh, you know, th th across the board, any topic. Like, set me straight. Not yeah, least because, that. like, I don't think I did it in this instance, but there are plenty of times where, like, I'll be I'll be voicing an opinion, but just 
my style of speaking can sometimes come off really like authoritative and like like I'm declaring this to be true. And no, I you're a dick. It, just, I don't just... I don't mean it that way. <laughs> I'm just being I'm just I just have a rhetoric in it. Sorry, I missed the joke. What did I what, what? Oh, we just called you a dick. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, no, yeah, I totally straight up called you a dick. Oh, no. no, you're correct. No argument for me. Um, <laughs> you know, so I mean, I'm a dick on purpose all the time because it's funny. But uh, no, it's okay. Security said it absolutely correctly. We're all supportive, but patience is needed to combat ignorance. Yes. 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 Yes, hundred percent. Because lizard is a smart lizard. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes he is a whole dumb. Um, I also call him Susan because he is. A well, whole dumb. I mean, he's a man. Of course, he's dumb. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. Zero out of ten. Worst stream ever. You're canceled. Oh, I'm canceled now. Damn. Yep. Yep, you, you're platforming a bygot. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, a bygot. A bygot. A big I will not suffer any bygots in my presence. Big, those fucking bygots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking hate y'all. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You have always been and always will be a whole dumb lizard. You are absolutely right. Uh, to my knowledge, puberty blockers are completely reversible. I don't think most people advocate giving minors hormone replacement. If they do, I wouldn't know how to argue one way or another, but I'm no mm. doctor. Oh, yeah, that's completely understandable. Um, I personally feel that if it is going to be a male to female transition, then hormone blockers should not be started until after a certain point within puberty purely because there is skin that grows during puberty that is essential to making sure that surgery is as complication free as possible mm. so you know waiting until that point in puberty to start blockers would be ideal but i am also no doctor this is purely what i know based off of people's experiences with getting surgeries so yeah i am not a doctor i am a food scientist i'm just a dipshit oh that reminds me there's a. Uh... Lizard did ask me for a recipe. I forgot what it was. So, Lizard, please remind me what recipe you wanted me to send you so that I can, like, make you a recipe. Yes, we should all consult medical doctors before making serious decisions with our bodies. That is absolutely 100% correct and true. But at the same time, uh, something that you have to consider with uh, Jazz Jennings when she started her hormone blockers, this was, you know... 18 plus years ago before more research had been done on starting puberty blockers before a certain age. So it's entirely possible that the uh, medical advice given now is going to be way different than what was given to her back then, especially knowing everything that we know now. So, you know, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, too much gatekeeping can cost lives. There's a lot of things that can cost lives. But yes, yes. always, always go consult a doctor. And it is absolutely A-O-fucking-K to go get a second opinion. Like, if, if you're consulting a doctor on a certain thing and it just, it doesn't feel right to you or something just seems off, please go get a second opinion. Getting a second third. opinion. Yeah, like, getting those extra opinions is... Doctors are people, too. Yeah, everyone they makes mistakes. Up. <laughs> they fuck they, up. They have opinions. They make mistakes. Um, they, I mean, in, in, a, in the United States, with the way the pharmaceutical system is set up, 
you know, they might not necessarily be recommending things that are best for you, but they Just might give be best them for oxies. Them. They'll be fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you can't trust medicine, but yeah, you might want to source more than one opinion. Um, yeah, yeah, multiple opinions definitely helpful. Yeah, you've been trying to remember what recipe I was supposed to send you to, Lizard. Yeah, uh, if if you remember, just let me know so I can send it to you. Um, Super Gust, you Ron for that. Like, oh my lord, so very Ron. God damn it, Super <laughs> Ghost, uh, and you, Super Ghost, you go to the shame corner. You you go I mean, on the shame corner today. I mean, would they? Would they moan or would they get loud, Rumble. slappy, and call their pimp to put a cap in you? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Ooh, I'd say loud and slappy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I have a friend who uh -oh. used to frequent many prostitutes in his travels. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was one who brought some coke along, and they did coke in the room, nice. you know, amid their other, you know, transactions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, he just kind of assumed the coke was like included. Oh, never assume the coke is included. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. That and is. Then, uh -huh. And then, and then, Mr. Pimp had to come by, and he had to lie his way out of a beating. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which he's very good at. Um, I forget what it was. Like he, uh, he shaved his head bald, and it was uh, because he was—he's been balding since he was in his early twenties. And he made up something about something, something cancer treatment, and they were like, "Just get the fuck out of here!" And he went, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah no. no if, if 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 you cheat on a whore, I don't know. I mean, eh, I th I feel, hopefully the moaning happens before the payment is failed to be delivered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, no never ever ever assume that the coke is included because the no. coke is never included. That's a life lesson. Ever. Ever. Uh right now I am doing better. Like I I am just trying to maintain a certain level of happiness. That's where I'm at. I am high. Like I always have, so good. Everything good here. Everything yeah, good there. Bro. Everything's good here, bro. Okay, so when are we fighting? Uh, two guns over here. Oh, we're fighting me. Yes. Sweet. Why? Because he tried to do that stupid fucking stoner voice, bro. Oh God, yeah. Oh, bro. I just, I just you have peace and love, bro. Smack a baby, bro. We fighting. Yep. Same. On Told sight. You. Told you. On sight. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Shit. God damn it. You brought this on yourself, man. I mean, look. If anyone told me that being a stereotypical stoner on the internet would get me a beating, I never... I would have made different life decisions, you know? Oh, no. yeah. No one told me. <laughs> would, can I get a mulligan, at least? Like, <laughs> it won't happen again, I promise. Bro! You promise? Like, you swear? Swearsy realsies? No. 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 I don't. I, can look, you look, promise? Or I, I don't want to. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. All right. So I, I'll just take okay, the beating fair. this time, and you know, I'll be free to you know terrorize you again with my terrible voices. Now hmm. it's on sight. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're setting yourself up for failure over there, two guns. I mean, what else is new? I'm used to it. Oh, yeah. If I'm not if I'm if I'm not perpetually engaging in self sabotage, I'm not living my best life. Mm. You know? That's fair, I guess. <laughs> it oh actually makes no God, sense, but I'll take it's it. A I appreciate your unconditional support. Thank you. Oh, of course. Like that's that's what I do. I support all of my friends unconditionally. But mm -hmm. like, if if you fuck up one too many times, then there might be an issue. Hey, that sounds like a condition. That's it. You're a fraud. I'm out of here. 
<laughs> I um, think I'm pretty fair though. Like I, I don't. <laughs> I give everyone a lot more chances than they should get reasonably. Mm. Like it, it takes a lot for me to like boot you out of my life. To be completely yeah. honest. Kind of the same way. I'm too nice for my own good sometimes. I've never seen how to cook that uh, super ghost. I don't know what that is. Can you tell me what it is? Because I, I don't know. I think it's a channel. Huh. I don't know, because I've never heard of it before. I mean, yeah, is it a channel? Should it? I should I look so. into it? Should I watch it? I mean, I watch carpet cleaning videos to calm my brain, so. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I do with uh, pimple popping videos. Oh, oh my God, yes. The oh, black no. head, oh, no, yes. no, no. Yes. 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 No, I'm going to puke everywhere. <laughs> no, 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 It's no. not that bad. It's horrible. No. They're just pimple popping videos. Yeah, bodies it's are gross. It's beautiful. It's glorious. You're getting dirt out of your skin. Like, I... yeah, and it's fantastic. Uh, mm, you know, you can have it. That's all yours. Okay, good. Because I wasn't about to, like, give it up for anything like they're, they're great they're so helpful they help me to not pick my own face same see same. Ooh, that's why see, I no watch. see yep. uh, um, opposite opposite for me uh, i'm like i get like bugs under my skin i'm like scratching it i'm like oh get it out of me oh no. you get the nope. itchies nope. Ooh. Nope, nope, okay nope. yeah you shouldn't watch those channels then because yeah yeah the no, no, no. Nope, nope 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 um, I mean, it's 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 a similar thing. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why I don't like horror movies is because I always put myself in the victim's shoes in my head. Oh, yeah. Like my imagination's too powerful in that way. I do not like horror movies either because and, and like the with, jump scares and the psychological. Mm -mm, yeah, no like like I can I can do it to a point, but if it's just like if it's just like a mindless slasher, I'm just like, nope. I, I, it's like me saw, getting murdered over and over like again. Like just gore porn. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, thank you. Um, yes, I know it's fake, but my imagination convinces me otherwise, and it, no, can't do it. Um, that's understandable. But, but as far as like content that's like, you know, that fulfills the same purpose for me as those, uh, you know, pimple popping, whatever you guys y'all like, I really love like crafting. Um, like blacksmithing, lathe turning, um, oh. leather and woodworking. Um, I, I watch dudes make swords. That shit's awesome. Um, j just just the sound of a of a power hammer slamming steel rhythmically is just like, mm. and that 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 soothes me. And then seeing them come out with like a beautiful piece of artwork out of it that could also cut someone's head off is pretty awesome. That does sound pretty fucking awesome. Not gonna lie. Now, see, there's, this, put, um, there's this one channel that I really, really like. It's this Japanese dude that makes all of these really amazing looking like resin knives. Mm. Like they're so gorgeous. Like he he does ones with different themes. Like he has ocean ones. I like the tiny food channel. With oh. the little with the little chibi <laughs> everything. Yes. Love the little tiny food channel. It's so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone in the audience have a channel that they absolutely adore? That they, like, don't ever talk about? Because, well... Sometimes people's interests in channels can be weird. And sometimes you don't want to, like, talk about what your channel interests are. Because you don't want to be judged for it. But this is a judgment-free zone. By all means, tell us what, like, one of your favorite go-to channels is. I would love to know. I want to find new channels to watch. One of them, um, 
the one that I'll name that's in the vein of what I was talking about is a guy called Shurap, uh, S-H-U-R-A-P. Mm -hmm. And he, he's a, he's a knife smith, I think. And um, I don't know if he's, he's Eastern Europe. I don't know if it, exactly where, um, could be Russia, could be somewhere else, but um, his videos, he doesn't do any, he doesn't talk at all. There's no background music or anything. It's just clips of him um, like building a billet, um, you know, out of whatever he's going to build the knife out of. It could be rusty nails. It could be an old hat, like an old working hammer. It could be, staples just what he just takes metal shit makes a billet out of it and then you just watch him you know forge it out and into a blade and like you know polish and sharpen it and um over the course of like 20 to 40 minutes depending on the project somewhere in there he makes himself a cup of tea and it's different every time how he does it that's like part of that's just part of his ritual and uh then you just just at the end of it, it's just these really high res pictures of this of these gorgeous Damascus pattern knives that he makes, um, and it's 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 blacksmithing ASMR, and I love it. Ooh. that does sound really fucking awesome. I must say, yeah. And Damascus, dude, Damascus steel patterning, like that that master smiths pull off these days, or it's just incredible how gorgeous some of those blades look. I really want to find some more like good cooking channels to follow because I love getting ideas for new recipes and everything like that. But it seems like most of them do just the same shit over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. That's boring. I don't, I don't want to see the same shit over and over and over. Where do you go? Hello, Blair. Welcome, welcome. Hello. How's it hey. going? I'm bored. <laughs> well, uh, I think that's the consensus among everyone here, so we're here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Oh. But yes, welcome, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, lovely to be here. This piece goes somewhere. Oh, goes there. Looking up what an anti kithrama mechanism is. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, hello, this hello, is old Greek. So what's this supposed to be a puzzle of, might I ask? Uh, yes, it's a James and the Giant Peach puzzle. Um, oh. It has art from the book and quotes from the book. You oh. have a lovely, warm voice, Blair. Thank you. Like, oh my goodness, I love <laughs> it. Yes, this puzzle is all James and the Giant Peach. And then after this puzzle, time permitting, I'm going to do uh, a Matilda puzzle. A Zelda puzzle? Matilda. Oh. Oh. That sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, you may have seen the movie with Danny DeVito in which a little girl has magic powers and like oh, yes. loves to read. This. Yeah. Fucks everyone's shit up all the time because she's awesome. Movies are built differently back then. Oh, for sure. Where do you go? Once again, I would like to say thank you to all the people that have chosen to watch a puzzle stream at uh, 
you know, 11 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. I greatly appreciate y'all. <laughs> what else uh, would you be doing? You know, that's a, that's a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if they made a movie about any of you, but the person that played you had to be a YouTube conspirator, who would you choose? I'm not too familiar with most of YouTube's conspirators because I stay out of that part of YouTube. Um, yeah. I don't... I, like, this baffles a lot of people, but I don't watch YouTube like that. Like, I never have. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers that people bring up and I'm like, oh, who the fuck is that? Because I've never heard of them. It's too big. It's, you know? I, I think it's generally a good idea to stay out of the conspiracy theory side of YouTube because it's even if you're the, just there to poke fun, it's there's a lot of mental illness there. So yeah, I just try to avoid that and not get involved. Yeah, I hear that. I'm with you there for sure. Glover mom, it's very nice to see you. Welcome to the puzzle stream. Christ, super guest. That's a question. <laughs> I heard a kitty cat. Kitty. That's mine. What? No. Who's your baby? No, no. <laughs> Meow. That's my little peach. Oh, hi. Uh, friendly reminder to people in the chat that tonight, security monitor lizard is going over Ukraine Russia stuff on his backup channel, and tonight. We are also going to be announcing the charity thing that he and I are doing together because, well, we apparently hate ourselves but love the people of <laughs> Ukraine. So please tune in for information on that because I'm not going to say anything about it until he does because he has a much wider reach than I do. I think uh, 1984 would be a good book to study when examining Russia and its behavior recently. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Woof. Yup. Yup. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mary, luckily, the entire thing is going to go. I think we agreed on, and Lizard can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, 30 days? We're going to let it run over the course of 30 days to give everyone time to be able to donate and time for people to vote on the terrible thing that we are going to force ourselves to go through because, well, again, we hate ourselves, love the people of Ukraine. Lizard, I don't know why we agreed to do this. Uh, I'll fight you about it later, but yes. <laughs> Torturing Wait. myself. What y'all have planned? It, it's a. It's, you, you'll, you'll learn about it. You'll learn about it. Uh, I, I'm not going to reveal the secrets. Well, no. I'm wondering if I can join in. Uh, we are. We are raising money. People can donate to a place of their choosing. The, there will be a list of different places as well as. Uh, Included in that information are the tax numbers of each of the organizations, uh, information on what they're doing in Ukraine, stuff like that. So everyone can make their own informed decision of where they want to donate, and we will be doing something terrible to ourselves. Uh, Definitely want to donate to the Ukrainian people. They are a country. They like. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yep. Yes. But uh, the exact details of everything will be announced over on Lizard's channel tonight, and I am so nervous and so just like, yeah, no, this is going to be over in no time. Like, so much extra money is going to be donated. Like, we're, we're going to kill ourselves. God damn it, Lizard. <laughs> mm. 
now I'm nervous. What should? Oh, oh. Did you to be nervous? Please, I, please. Oh my god! <laughs> now I am freaking the fuck out. Like, no, there's, there's no reason to freak out. I promise. I promise. <laughs> It's all good. It's all in good fun. It's all in good faith. It's all a uh, well. Nah, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thin. <laughs> oh, it's just it's going to be so much fun. I am very excited to team up with him for this. I mean, I help him with everything else for his channel. Why not? God, don't you bring up the beer eggs. Goddamn beer eggs. I am... Mm, lizard. Beer eggs? Don't make beer me think eggs? about beer eggs. Don't. What? What's a beer egg? Yeah, what the fuck? A thousand year egg. Uh, but no, have, have you met or heard of someone named King Cobra? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, one, no. of, one of the oh, things that he shit. has done is uh, hard boil eggs in beer, a.k.a. beer eggs. <laughs> beer, <laughs> eggs ties, <laughs> beer eggs ties into what we're doing in a minimal way. Um, Please say yeah. it's whiskey eggs or vodka eggs or something. No, we're tequila eggs. Beer, like, beer oh. eggs. We are <laughs> talking beer eggs. Um, That's disgusting. It is <laughs> disgusting. I don't know why I agreed to this. Um <laughs> Lizard better be glad I can't that stop. I oh my appreciate God. him as a person. Otherwise, I would not put myself through this torture. <sighs> and King Lizard Cover just me. eats it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know he boiled them until the shells cracked off. I am aware of what he did. He know what he, he I know. He knows what he did when he did it. <laughs> yeah, he knows what he did when he did it, and I know what he did when he did it, and I am... You know what you did when you did it. I am... Mm, quit reminding me, Lizard. We're gonna fight, Lizard. We were, we were already gonna fight, but, you know... this. Mm. Oh, I'm thinking of bitch slapping him like... Uh, oh, damn. Will Smith. Oh, damn. <laughs> the beer eggs, just... Bah. You know, Will Smith apologized. He did. I know. Yeah, that was more yeah. interesting than the actual Oscars. The Oscars movie. were boring as fuck yeah. <laughs> most of the, the time. The slap that resonated around the world. <laughs> Just bam. <laughs> he was acting a fool. Like, okay, it's a fucking G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> like, chill they out. shouldn't make fun of somebody's disease. Oh, she has a medical condition. Al Motherfucker, you know how many people have alopecia? Do you know like, it's mostly that, that joke wasn't women of written color by who him. have alopecia i'm i'm just gonna say that um that that joke wasn't even written by him that joke was written by a white woman uh, Ooh. which is which it which just made it worse it was written ooh. by amy schumer amy schumer wrote that joke oh god oh that how bitch. is she still employed god yeah. damn it amy schumer is the reason that that joke was even on the list for that night she wrote that joke what are we doing writing jokes for Chris the Fuck Rock? Chris Rock is way funnier than you. She's a legend. Oh. Like, why? What the? Okay. Mm. So, the way that the Oscars works, the way that most of those shows do work, is that they have a, a team of comedians that write the jokes for everyone else before the show. And Amy Schumer just happened to be the person to write that particular joke. For that particular Jesus monologue, Christ. and that does not bode well for anyone because, well, Amy Schumer's a cunt. I love how the puzzle's coming along. Ooh, no, yes. thank you. It looks pretty. Yeah, I love these puzzles so much. But yeah, so uh, Amy Schumer had. Amy Schumer is the reason that that joke exists. Amy Schumer is the reason why that joke was told. And that is part of the reason why uh, Will Smith apologized for hitting him. Because mm. it's kind of like, okay, wait a minute. He's just doing what they always do at these shows and reading what is written for him. 
Wow. And Joe yeah, Apatow yeah. actually had tweeted out to Amy Schumer, hey, don't go to the Vanity Fair after party because uh, Will Smith wants a word with you about that. <laughs> well, he, well, like, Ooh, why, though? We have word. Will Smith? Like, Will Smith wants a word, bitch. He better like, show up. What's the He's fucking... Ready. Oh, you're making fun of your condition? Bitch. You know how many people are losing their hair around the world due to alopecia? It's like pretty fucking common. That and that close crop haircut. Jada Pinkett Smith is a bombshell and has always been a bombshell and is still one. Yeah, uh, yeah. And G.I. Jane is a badass. What, yeah. What, what about this yeah, comparison yeah, is offensive I, I don't in any see way insult, other than remarking but... on her hair? Like, chill out. Like, real but fucking I think spine. Alopecia reference, Will Smith right? is also a comedian. Like, like, but there was no excuse. He was acting a fool. I don't care who wrote the joke or why. It, there's no fucking reason. And at what? a bare minimum, you, you give the man a warning that it's not cool before you even consider putting hands on somebody. Like, that's just... Like, we yeah. are grown. We're adults. We grow. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. I don't know. I'd still rather watch Chris Rocket assaulted by Will Smith and the actual Oscars. So, look, you know, look, I, I agree. <laughs> okay. I want, look, I would love to have IRL celebrity deathmatch. Why not? Fuck it. Oh, Let's I miss celebrity deathmatch. I do too. Oh my god, that was the greatest. Right? So let's do it. It's not claymation, like actual. Mm, mm. So uh, we need to write some letters to Viacom CBS because they have the rights to Celebrity Deathmatch still. Probably. So actually, you would know if anyone. So. They do. <laughs> yes, uh, they do. Um, that show was created for MTV specifically. And it was produced by MTV Studios, which falls under Viacom CBS. But so was the Rugrats, and they moved to Nickelodeon. Like, huh. Uh, Rugrats was for Viacom? Well, n- well Rugrats yeah. Rugrats uh, was on Rugrats. MTV. Yes. Uh, Rugrats is Viacom CBS. Uh, Viacom CBS does own both MTV and... Nickelodeon. It also owns oh, no. uh, Comedy Central. That ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Competitors. Uh, Viacom CBS also they they own a lot of shit. Um, they own half of the CW. Huh. Which is Cartoon why the CW. No, the CW. Oh, no, wait, no, the CW with like the Flash and. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's why okay. the CW is the CW because the C stands for CBS and the W stands for Warner Media. Ooh, you're right. How did I not see that? Damn. Mm. Mm. When are these mega corporations gonna like start forming their own private militaries and shit and having war with each other? Um, Bold of you to assume they haven't. (laughs) Branded the movie. Ooh. I just I just imagine like riots breaking out and like Amazon branded fucking people in body armor (laughs) breaking that shit up. It's all it's all like <laughs> shitty Chinese like knockoff shit that just fails <laughs> 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 Oh my god, stop <laughs> making me snort. No. Keep making your snort, it's amazing. <laughs> well no, you squeak, I snort. Just <laughs> Tune in for Squeaks and Snorts Tuesdays on it on the CW. <laughs> oh my god, no. God damn it. <laughs> I'm dying over ah, here. Ah, shit. The stream just got copyright claimed by my god. <laughs> Squeaks and Snorts. 
I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people here that would tune in for squeaks and snorts. <laughs> oh my god. What would the show even be about? Uh, it would just be me and Mary giggling the entire time over stupid shit. Yep. Yep. She it, oh, like puzzles, Beavis and Butthead. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am the great Conholio. The great Conholio. Uh, oh my god. Fucking A. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Mary. If you ever see me high, my giggles are even worse. I giggle oh, no. at fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> my husband just did the cornholey out with the hood and everything. I, oh, I hate him. I hate him <laughs> so much. God damn it. Oh, but you love him. <laughs> He trolls me daily. I hate it. You don't hate it. No, I absolutely adore it. Like, that means he's paying attention to me and he loves me. <laughs> no. Oh. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for being here. We are two and a half hours into a puzzle stream. I'm literally just sitting here doing a fucking puzzle. <laughs> you guys chose to be here. And I appreciate that about every single one of you. Yay! I don't, have, I don't know how you have the patience for this shit. <laughs> I just love doing puzzles. It's one of my favorite things. Doing puzzles is one of those weird things that relaxes me. I know that some people, like, can't do it, but... I usually just play guitar in my spare time. I've also been dealing with a lot of anxiety, and this helps with my anxiety, too. That's good. Yeah. So it's just it's a nice little thing to keep me occupied. Oh, no. I have the sniffles. <laughs> I we got made the it black lung, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, this is what our show will be. We tell each other bad jokes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, but the bad jokes make everything like so much better. Right? Bad jokes make the world go round. And if people don't understand or appreciate that, well then they suck. Well, they're not witty enough to... Well, what would you define a bad joke as? That's a good question. Because like, like, I've heard... Uh, it's just I've heard really corny jokes that made me roll my eyes into oblivion, but I wouldn't consider yeah, those that's bad a bad jokes. joke. That I would consider. I think it's subjective, I, right? I would consider a bad joke just an unfunny joke or an overly oh, offensive one. Okay. Or you could be Ricky Gervais and be offensive and unfunny at the same time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bam! There it is. Well, someone had to say it at some point. I'm just glad it was Blair. Hey, <laughs> there, Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, we are so close to the end of the puzzle. Everyone should be excited because, uh, well, we have enough time for me to do another puzzle. I'm super excited. Like, mm -hmm. there's just. 
the top left quadrant and the bottom right quadrant and a little bit in the middle here and there yeah just a little bit here and there of course it's getting to the point now where it's easy to pick out where a lot of these pieces go So it's easy to just, you know, pop them into place. I also do puzzle streams. Like, this is just so chill. It is so amazing. No, I'm glad that I'm able to do these. And I'm glad that so many people seem to enjoy them. Because, you know, I, I like to be able to sit down and talk to everyone. And Same. This is, this is a good place for people to be able to just, you know, express their thoughts and opinions on various things. And not have to worry about, like, other people shitting on them. Because, well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And if your opinion is somehow just, like, way out of left field fucking wrong, then, yeah, someone's going to take you to task over it. Yeah. But yeah, of course. It's respectful. Like, damn, we groan. You say mm -hmm. some fuck shit. <laughs> if you say some fuck shit, we'll let you know that you said some fuck shit and that you're on some exactly. fuck shit. Exactly. Exactly. I do not take kindly to fuck shit on my channel. But yeah, it's just, it's very nice for me to know that, you know, people actually enjoy the puzzle streams. Because I was worried when I, like, first did one that, you know, people wouldn't really show up or be all that interested. Oh no, this is interesting as fuck. Like... <laughs> To me, this calms my brain down, if that makes any sense. It does. I'm just here for the conversation. Like, I'm not even looking at the puzzle, really, except the glance at it. Uh, oh, God. You. Speaking of which, you've damn near finished it. Very nice. Yeah, uh, right? Yeah, I'm just, right? I'm just working and chatting on the clock. Like, that's Pay attention. Damn. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> But why don't you wanna? Why are you because, being whiny? Because I wanna. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, once this puzzle's finished, I'll uh, take it apart and we'll start up the next one. Because, well, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself awake until small human returns from school. And then I'm going to take a small nap before lizard stream because, like, yeah, I can't. Where do you go? Oh, wait, you go over here. Gotcha. Uh -huh. I agree, ghosts. Anybody that doesn't like Elden Ring is wrong, objectively. <laughs> See, I haven't played it, and I probably won't play it because, like, I don't know. I just, I don't play too many video games. Why not? Because I'm busy doing things like puzzles. What, become a over video games, huh? Be, become a gamer cat girl, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think I'm pretty enough to be a gamer cat girl. Shut the everlasting fuck oh, up. Oh, you please. totally are. Like, <laughs> damn, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Jesus yes. Christ, you guys. Okay, <laughs> I got you. For damn. real. Bad. You have some self-esteem right now, young lady. <laughs> I I belittle <laughs> myself on other people's channels, uh, not my own, because I apparently will get called the fuck out in like two fucking seconds. <laughs> Damn, that was immediate. My bad. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't don't talk shit on my friends. All right. <laughs> For real though. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll stop. Be. I'll be good. I'll behave for the most part. Better. I'm telling. <laughs> God I'll damn see. it, Mango. Why are you such a polite bitch? 
<laughs> My bad. I don't mean to be. I'm all tough Thank enough. Everybody, or like, something. So grateful. <laughs> I know. I just. I. Uh, I'm spoiling my own channel by just being so nice and appreciating the fact that people want to spend their time with me while I do puzzles. It's I amazing. swear we have to do a squeak and snort show. Just, <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take clips of of your respective squeaks and uh, squeaks and snorts, and make a sweet uh, intro beat out of it. I hate you. It's gonna be great. Why? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be my. It's gonna be my. <laughs> Every single year at the end of April. That meme goes around, and every single year, I wish yep. I was dead. That fucking <laughs> meme. It's gonna be my. But it's oh. such a good meme. It's so stupid. It's good. Yes. It's yes. played out. It's so over. Justin Timberlake is better than that meme, okay? No, he's not. Like, he's he's not. not. It's a ticket in a box. Ooh, okay, well, the box, girl. Dick in the box was one thing, but like, come on now. And then Mother Lover, and then whatever the third one was that he was in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, whatever Mother the Lover one? with Lonely Island. Yeah, the Lonely Island is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Yep. Okay. You are correct. Stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, what was? The, uh, I don't know if it was the title or not, but it was like a. It's not gay if it's a three-way sort of thing. I remember I that, that one. Oh, it's so fucking Whoa. stupid. God, those were great. That, that that was that was some of the best SNL material of the last two decades. Like, okay, I will show, agree with you there. One hundred. Otherwise, that show is pretty trash anymore. I don't know. Pete Davidson has his moments. Like, I very much do appreciate Pete Davidson's comedy, but Bruh needs to stop sleeping with, like, everyone. Mm -hmm. He does. Like, oh my god, it's a squeak and snorty show. <laughs> it's perfect. God damn it, Glover Mom. Big damn it, why? <laughs> why? I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all that is here that has chosen to spend this time with me. And like, oh, you guys make everything so much better. This is, this has been wonderful. Right back at you, Happy kid. Oh, I love you, girl. <laughs> And with that, ta-da, it's finished. Woo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> and so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this puzzle apart because I still have time before I have to do anything. So uh, we're going to do another puzzle. Yay, more puzzles. I Yay. found them. Ooh, oh, nice. I'm sorry that uh, my squeaks woke you up there, Ami. My bad. <sighs> Hopefully your nap was going well, though. Before this. My husband found his sharpening stones. Hi, Ami. He work on my Swiss Army knife. Yes. Very nice. All right. So, puzzle's going into the box. And then before I start up the next puzzle... I am going to uh, step away for a quick moment to go grab myself something to drink that's not an energy drink. Because, well, I should probably drink something other than way too much caffeine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hydrate. Yes. Mm. Uh, I'm probably going to go grab one of my cases of water because 
I can sit down and go through like an eight pack of water in no time. Ice water is my savior. Like, ooh, oh, I ooh. I can't drink regular water, like flat water, because it has the mm -hmm. wrong texture. Yep, it tastes like spit. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. So yeah, I just mm -mm. I have a. Uh, Two different flavors of regular bubbly, and I have the limoncello lacroix out there. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I love bubbly. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, oh yeah. lacroix. The thing that farted next to the thing that it actually is. Yes, yes. Except the limoncello one kind of tastes like a limoncello cake without the sugar in it, and it's really good. Ooh. It's like the best flavor okay. that there is. Uh, I introduced Lizard to bubbly bounce. And ah, I prefer yes. bubbly bounce over soda because with it only having, you know, the carbonated water, the natural flavor, and the caffeine. Oh, the caffeine, the like, it hits different. Like, it hits in a much better way. Honestly, caffeinated soda serves no purpose to me for, like, caffeine. Like, waking up. It's, it's just enough to, like, keep me awake if I'm trying to go to bed at night. Otherwise, it just doesn't matter. But bubbly yeah. bounce, like, actually functions as like a low tier as like a low power energy drink for me so yeah, yeah it really it. like it puts me in that mm. okay i will be let's see let me set up these things move ken yay put those there and then i will be right back i'm going to go grab water and possibly a snack you're back. Yay, hydrate. All right, quick. Everyone shout your racial slurs while she's gone. Get her channel down. Go, go, go. I know, right? <laughs> so have I talked to y'all about extending your warranty yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me more. <laughs> my car's been paid I off for three years. I don't want my car's it. warranty is expired. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Go away. How is everyone today? I forgot to ask. I'm doing good. Yay. Just wasting time because I have no life. You're looking fine. It's the best reason to waste time. I am getting over a cold, but I'm okay. I'm just at work. <laughs> Plugging away. Wait, you got the COVID? Uh, I don't think it's COVID. Um, I didn't bother with the test because I'm pretty sure it's just a cold and I'm vaccinated and I, I don't leave the house. Um, but. Like, people look at me funny when I cough. Oh, yeah, of course. And I have a smoker's cough, so it's just like, no, I'm not infecting everybody. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, I am. Um, like, I, I just get, like, GERD when I eat, and, like, that'll induce a cough. So, like, if I'm out at a restaurant, like, as soon as I'm done my meal, like, I'll cough a little bit. Yeah. And, like, it, it, it has nothing to do with the respiratory illness. It's just, you know. Yep, and the dagger eyes that you get, which is like, yep. damn. I don't I'm care. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Can't I mean, even have allergies anymore? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Don't even get me started on the allergies. Like, <laughs> like uh, I'm allergic to planet Earth. I've determined, like, literally everything here. Yes. Um, yes. I probably shouldn't be alive, but here we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, <laughs> it's great. It's a great time. Like plants. <laughs> fuck with me as soon as springtime hits mm -hmm. i am puffy eyed puffy nose mm -hmm. just puffy everything fucking sucks yeah yeah same here it's uh it's no good goddamn plants fucking all the time right get a goddamn room trees okay wait what are the trees doing fucking it's spring. fucking Oh, yeah. uh, like in that episode of Ugly Americans? Probably. Are, are they gonna, I've never like, seen that show, but I believe you. 
Oh, that show was so good. It was it was canceled lately. Also, um, thank you guys for not shouting a whole bunch of racial slurs. Um, <laughs> Blair, uh, what? please continue to uh, sell the extended auto warranties to everyone. Yes. <laughs> You're the best auto warranty uh, saleswoman out there. <laughs> <laughs> At no additional cost, you could help increase your credit rate by 40% when you invest in Nutriplex. <laughs> you're a little too good at that. Um, you're uh, you're hired. Good job, ma'am. <laughs> you're 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 hired. Um, we're we're starting up a, a scam. I mean, uh, extended warranty service right now. Okay, guys, all you have to do, all right, is buy some of our product and then sell it to 10 people you know, and then get those 10 people yes. to sell more. Yes, it's perfect. Everybody gets their money back. <laughs> no risk. Definitely. Yeah, there's very clearly no risk to this obvious pyramid scheme. <laughs> Ahem, it's a multi-level marketing corporation, which is legally distinct. <laughs> Therefore, yes, we're going to sue you for slander. It's a reverse <laughs> funnel system. A reverse funnel. <laughs> so a blunderbuss? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> <It's a shotgun. laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yes, hello. I would like to sign up for the shotgun program. <laughs> Just right in the temple, please. What? Huh? Sorry. Wrong wrong stream, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh I think that stream is uh, a few channels over. I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> this is dead down the hall I on think, your right. I think you think you're on the kill stream, my friend. Oh, oh, <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Oh. Thank you. I try. You're the best around. Oh, God. No. Nothing gonna keep me down. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> if my throat were cooperating, I could go much further over the top there, but not today. Not today. Perhaps next time. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. So how's work going there, uh, Two Guns? Uh, it's a relatively light day. Um, I've just finished all of my assigned work, which is nice. Getting it all Ooh. in before lunch. Um, and I got some meetings later, and it's going to be pretty chill. So nice, nice. Not bad today. Not bad. I I'm, was I'm an Excel monkey. Yes, yeah. I just copy paste. I look at I look at I look at accounts, and I complete an Excel sheet, and it's extremely easy. But what are you going to do? I mean be an Excel monkey and like make money. Yeah. It's better than not making money. That is true. Money. Dom bom bom. Ah, uh, every time I hear that, all I can think about is The Apprentice, because I used to watch that shit all the time with my mom because oh. we didn't have cable. I'm so oh, sorry. Christ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did they really use Pink Floyd for that show? Yeah. That's. Mm. Do they know what that song's about? No. <laughs> like, it's... It's not called money because they like money. <laughs> like... For real. Just, mm. Oh my god. Like, the initial song that they used was Pink Floyd. They used it for the first season, and then they switched it over because of copyright issues. 
Mm, of course. Yeah, I mean, it. it's really easy to find yourself in a copyright loop, essentially. Copyright loops are why uh, not all episodes of The Brady Bunch or I Love Lucy are available for streaming. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, you see, when both of those shows initially aired, there were products that were placed within the show that had broadcast rights. They had the right to broadcast those products. Those broadcast rights do not translate over into streaming. And a lot of oh. those products don't exist or they are so popular that it would cost way more than the show is worth to be able to get the right to meat of vegemin. Just <laughs> yeah. So I'll be right back, guys. Oh, of course. <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of those episodes are not available for streaming because of it. Wow, that's sad. I mean, you can still catch them in reruns on places like you know Nick at Night. Oh my goodness, I loved Nick at Night when I was younger. It's how I watched the Patty Duke show, Dobie Gillis, like all them. Nick at Night used to be really, really good. And then they started showing shows that uh, probably shouldn't have been on Nick at Night. You know, like How I Met Your Mother. Ooh, did they? Wow. Yeah. Uh, How I Met Your Mother currently airs on Nick at Night, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, they started showing it around season seven of the show. Oh, wow. I had no idea. Like, I don't have cable. I haven't had cable for the past, like, three years. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't even remember what it's like to watch TV. <laughs> well, the, uh, the condo that I was living in, uh, cable was included. Oh, nice. So, it, in the cost of the homeowners association fee, which was like two hundred fifty-seven dollars a month, yeah. No clue why it was that much. Guitar. Blair is what? Blair plays guitar. Huh? Oh yeah. Thanks. It's a nice fun thing to also have in the background because, like. This dream is just for doing stuff and enjoying ourselves. Yep. I can mute myself if it's too intrusive. Oh, no, you're you're fine, I promise. I don't think Mary was looking at the screen, so Mary couldn't see that you were playing. That's okay. Wait, what? What? What happened? Ah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I have a puzzle. Oh, I'm I so penis. confused right now. Don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Danish. I'm about to eat it. Oh. It's you playing the guitar, Blair, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. I there. love it. Sounds so good. Oh, nice. Nice. I just recently learned how to do a pinch harmonic properly. Oh, really? Ooh. I can kind of do it sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. Pinch harmonics are really fucking difficult to get right. And as soon as you're just like, oh, yes, I can finally do this. I can do this all the time. Your fingers are just like, no, you can't. Fuck well, you. I have ballet fingers and hands and feet, so it doesn't really playing an instrument does not work mm. Mm. oh thank you again to everyone that has chosen to uh, hang out with us these last three hours I greatly appreciate every single one of you and don't forget, tonight over on the Security Monitor Lizard Backup Monitor channel, there will be an announcement about a charity drive that we are doing for people of Ukraine and the unfortunate uh, things that we have to do once a certain goal is reached. God damn it, I hate myself for agreeing to this, but at the same time, 
fundraising charity. It's great. Uh, also, there will be, you know, he will be going over like actual updates of the war itself and the cost of war. Please be advised that there is a content warning on all of that. Um, I don't want to send you in there blind and you guys be like super up there by the stuff that you see. Um, later this week, I will be doing an informational stream depending on what the results of the poll that are in the chat are. If the poll is, is the poll still there? I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, yeah, it will either be Teen Mom or it will be the Troubled Teen Industry. Either way, both things are fully researched, ready to go. You just have to vote so I know which one to do. Oh, and then Friday morning, we will be finishing up MAGA Hat Romance number one. We have 30 pages left somehow. Oh, we really? all hate ourselves afterwards. There's a MAGA yeah. Romance book. Yes, uh, there's currently three in the series. Uh, we are almost done reading the first one. I went into it just as blind as everyone else, and it is horrible. I feel nasty just hearing about it. What? Oh, my God. It's called Ladies First. It's, ladies uh, or ladies? Ladies. Okay, okay. Damn, no. Oh, my God, okay. <laughs> it is uh it is not good. It is really? a terrible book. <laughs> wow. Who would have thunk? Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, yeah. Uh it's very much uh about a liberal woman written through the lens of a conservative woman. Holy shit. No. It's so bad. It's so bad. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the beginning of the book had the main character, Ricky, who had a pixie cut that was dyed bright green, infiltrate uh, a Trump rally, and she Ruh. saw all sorts of minorities, including, quote, the black youths. Yo, yeah. Oh, whoa, yeah, yeah. those were words that were written. Those were words, and Ricky had to uh lie about all of the racists that she did not see at this Trump rally. Holy shit! And there were an there were anti fascists that were hired to uh light fires at the Trump rally. Yeah, it was a thing <sighs> that was written in this book. Ooh. Ooh, that's yeah. a lot to take in. Yeah, Trump is the pope of his own religion. Yes, yes, he is. he very much is. Yes, that's that's a book that we've been reading on my channel. <laughs> oh, I hate you for this. I'm gonna <laughs> read it. I really. Oh goodness. It's so bad. We've like it's a 79 page long book, and we are only on page 49 because I keep having to stop and question the sanity of Liberty Adams, the writer. Oh my goodness, yeah, send me a link to the book. I will. Mm. Something mm. tells me that's a pen name and not his actual name. Uh, yes, it is a pen name. Um, Liberty <laughs> Adams is supposedly a female uh, mother who has a lot of, a wide variety of MAGA hats, apparently, that she wears on a regular basis. Clancy? Yeah, you, you would think. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Clancy is the best mother and writer. Right, though? No, just... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and Heinlein with his mm -hmm. oh my goodness starship troopers oh. ooh. Ooh. <laughs> who's the guy who made um, Ender's Game oh, oh my god whoever made Ender's Game should get 
literally fucked because. <laughs> mm, mm. Is Injury's game any good? Because <laughs> I am not privy. The books are lovely. The movie is just. It's mm. quaff. It's a quaff. Poor quaff. I'm going to be saying quaff all day. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to end up asking the dogs about their quaffs. Just for them to look at me like I'm insane. Oh, hey, Joey. How's it going? I'm doing all right today. How was work? Okay, Liberty Adams might be a turnip that someone put a MAGA hat on. It's entirely possible. She could very well be an actual turnip. You track down Liberty Adams and it's like a mannequin in a chair and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> then people come out with cameras and it's like, pranked you. <laughs> that book was actually written by an AI. <laughs> But it still begs the question, why would you let it write three of them? And what type of trouble did Liberty Adams get into for the second one that it's not available on Kindle like the other two are? Hmm. Joey, was your day of delivering mail super long? Did you have to deliver extra stuff again? Because I know sometimes you have to do that. It was easy today? Good. Good. You didn't have people yell at you over their packages again, did you? Because apparently delivering for the Royal Mail means that people get really mad at you over packages. They also deliver them in a sack that is made of interesting things. I've gotten books from the British Royal Mail and, ooh, ooh, interesting. Yeah, Joey delivers for the, uh, the Royal Mail. He's my favorite mailman. Postman? Yeah. Postman. That's what they're called. All right. So we've got our pieces all divided up, you know, got our edges, got our pictures, got our words. So today, we'll do the edges first, then we'll do the words, then we'll do the pictures. Because that is the easiest way to accomplish this type of puzzle. At least in my opinion. I'm sure everyone else has their own thing that they do. Please excuse the rapper noise. Uh, I have a Danish. I need food. And I know that there is someone out there, probably still listening, that will fuss at me if I do not eat the proper amount of food. Because he has concerns when I do not eat enough, especially when I have been through a bunch of stress. Thank you, Bestie. I appreciate you. No, you best be eating and snacking throughout the day. I am, I am. I, I will am. slap the piss out of you if you're not. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I'm eating a Danish right now. Good. Good. It's Proud a... 
It's one of those uh, strawberry and cream cheese danishes. Oh, love it. No, because mm. they have the 12-pack of the Bear Claw ones on sale at uh, Sam's Club right now for five bucks. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real. Oh, I got to go. I have a Sam. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 But I don't want to go out with this bruise on my chin. People are going to think my husband beats me, and he doesn't. Mm, like, yeah. holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, this no, that's so that's weird. One the, that's one of the downsides of the whole, like, ADHD thing. You know, when you hurt yourself, people just assume that other people have hurt you and not yeah. yourself. No, it's just me. I'm fucking no, my it's just up. me and my klutzy ass and... The worst part is I was a ballerina. No. Oh. Like for, <laughs> for I think 12 years. Yep. <laughs> and I still crash and crumble into things. Why? I Why? I have my black belt in taekwondo. I've had it for years, and uh, well, I'm I am ni- I am not graceful. I could never like be any sort of assassin because they will hear me coming from a mile away. Look at me just fall into everything on the way there. <laughs> oh, I know how to sneak because of parents and other things yeah i used to know how to sneak because of Mm -hmm. uh my ex but i've been away from that for so long that like sneaking is no longer an issue so like i lost my sneaky ability and now i just well i fall into everything i still have my sneak but it's targeted Mm -hmm. like Mm. if that makes sense yeah that does make sense if I'm uncomfortable, I would just be like, mm, sneak. I'm a wallflower now. You cannot see me. Camouflage. Invisible. <laughs> I heard that camouflage in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Chris Durham, I do have a new puzzle. Uh, we finished the last one. So because I still have time. Before I have to get the small human off the bus and I'm trying to keep myself awake because uh, I slept too much yesterday, probably. I'm doing another puzzle. Because why not? We have the time. It's a day. Let's see. This is a corner piece. You go over here. I love puzzles. Then we fill go around. Look, occasionally, Ami, you do have to just, like, sneak away. Sneaking away sometimes is the best option, depending on what you're doing. Um, One of my biggest trauma responses that I have that I'm actually working on is my habit of, like, just going silent and, like, disappearing. Which I know is not a healthy way of handling things, but... Smoke powder. Poof gone yeah I, I just i get really quiet and then like nope. i just i just exit and like don't Fade tell anyone that i'm leaving yep. oh my god <laughs> are you like my twin or something for <laughs> real i already have a twin but are we a triplets now possibly it's possible because uh well we do have a lot of the same habits there, don't we? <laughs> I don't meet too many people that uh, also just fade into background and then like disappear whenever they're overly uncomfortable or something just isn't going right. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I, if I'm too uncomfortable, I, I have to go. There's like no doubt. I just have to leave. Yep. Yeah, I just poof out. Uh, if someone is overly angry and I even if like my brain reasonably knows that I didn't do anything I still yes. like freak out and I shut down 
And oh my God. Yes. Yes. It takes everything in my power to not like fade into the background and disappear. Mm. Mm. Ooh, we need to talk in private mm. about some of this shit. Oh, mm. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> DM yeah. me, please. Yeah. It, these are just things that happen. And, you know, I like to joke around that I am actually just nine trauma responses and trench coat and not a real person. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it makes sense, doesn't it? It does, and that's why I'm smart. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I hate you so much. You love me. I do. Because it's true. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it's true. It's sad, but true. Do you love me? Are you playing love games with me? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm all I think, great. I think everyone forgot that Two Guns was here. <laughs> yeah, I did. And then he pops in like, whoop. <laughs> Love games? You guys are the best. Oh my goodness. I just. <laughs> I Definitely would be a speaking short show. Like, just. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It'd be a hit. Once again, I'm going to thank everyone that. Uh, has decided to hang around with us today because well this is fantastic you are all wonderful Fuck you don't be so polite stop it <laughs> stop it <laughs> y'all better show up or else <laughs> you don't hang out with our puzzle stream we're going to beat you up in minecraft you'll be one of those fucking losers not here bitch yeah <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. Oh. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. Ha. No. <laughs> Nein, das ist verboten. No. Jesus Christ. Yes. Nein, this is verboten. Nein. Nein. Yes, yeah, Saturday Blue or whatever. <laughs> Oh, two guns, I hate you right now. <laughs> Everyone loves two guns. <laughs> well, I apologize two guns. for nothing, regret nothing, and I would do it again. You are two. funny. Like, you crack me up, dude. Thank you. I'm glad. It's just a shame he's a man. No. <laughs> it's a dampener on the room. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? You know what? I'm fine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, Blair. You did. I mean, Ami, you're not wrong. There is only, you know, so much good down here in the south. Yeah. Welcome back, Two Guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your cis het tears. I'm extremely cis and extremely het. And, um... Delicious fuck you. Tears. How about that? Um, no thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let me know if you change it. Mm -hmm. mm, I slip at the tears. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're probably super straight. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously.
I have a serious problem, guys. I'm on my lunch break, mm -hmm. and my my bong bowl is clogged, and I have to clean it out. It's extremely. You need TP. It's a major issue. That is a major issue. This is a fucking tragedy. You need to solve I this. I know. It's it's uh, hashtag GoFundMe for two oh, guns. God. I need I need <laughs> six million pipe cleaners. It's going to cost about a thousand dollars if you could uh, <laughs> donate. Yes, yes. Everyone, please donate to that cause. <laughs> it's very yeah, no, you can pick that shit out yourself. It's very important. It's much more important than other world events right now. I'll have you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> Europe is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing there's going on there. The, the, there there are no extant world events that are more important than yeah. my dire need of cleaning out my pipe. Mm -hmm. For just one pipe cleaner a day, you too can help support this poor man. Damn, the Gemini coming in with the jokes. I can't. Like, I am dying. She's pretty cool. Let the Southern girls be nice. There's only so much going down there. Like, who? <laughs> true. That is very true. Like, I just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the South is a lawless wasteland. And, uh, yeah. I, I do not recommend anyone ever move down here for any reason. I'm in the north. Lucky. I'd rather be in the north. I would Pennsylvania? Too. Like, we think we're below the Mason-Dixon, but really, no. Nah, no, nah, we're not. Oh, the entire South is just, they're so stuck in so many old ways. Then they, they mm -hmm. shouldn't be. They shouldn't. But here we are just trying to survive and questioning everything. What if we just put all the stupid people on an island? You know, that, that could work. I would be down for putting them all on an island. Um, it, it. it would be the real Love garbage it. island. Yeah. <laughs> And that time one is like two miles wide in the whatever ocean. Yeah. Mm. I like that we're uh, sacrificing people, Garbage Island. <laughs> I mean, some people do deserve to be sacrificed. But, you know. yes. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They really, truly do. Mm. Well... We all know that Trump committed a crime when it comes to the January 6th riots. Like, no. it, he very much did. He incited fucking riots. Yes. No, yes. he's a rich white man. He can't do anything wrong. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's right. That, that oh, is what, uh, white. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is what they choose to believe, isn't it? <laughs> uh. Damn. But yes, overall, he, he, he very much did. Uh, there's not going to be a conviction in jail time. He is a rich old white dude. Right? Like, yeah, no, he's going to buy his way out of it and blah, blah, blah. Although yeah. I heard he's broke. I mean, he's been filing bankruptcy for I don't know how many years at this point. It's because it's not about real wealth. It's about like the perception of power. Mm. Mm. True. Mm, very true. He's a part of a class of people who has a perceived higher level of power. Yep. Yep. It's that boomer class. Just ooh, goodness. I hate it. Ah. We <laughs> all do. And it's Unfortunately, it's just one of those things that we all have to suffer the consequences of. You know, well, I'm starting to think these systems aren't ethical and don't deserve to exist at all, like the state and capitalism. Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. It, it would be very much a good thing if those things, you know, disappeared. But the problem is uh deciding upon something that would be better 
for everyone that everyone can actually like agree on because no matter what there's going to be some pushback from people on various things and there's going to be the whole you know oh well i didn't agree to this because of this reason or i didn't want to do this because of this reason and people fighting over stupid yeah. shit yeah you need this we have a big fascism wave that's coming back that needs to be dealt with first before Man, it's, it's a shame we didn't already fight a huge, you know, world war, uh, in, partly intended to depose and squash fascism. It's a real shame that never happened. Oh, yeah, the, that, that was never a thing. You know, that didn't. Mm. None of these things happened. What? No. Hey, beat him once. Hmm. Hmm? Want to try for a second time, guys? <laughs> Rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm going to be highly polite and thank everyone for being here. My God. And everyone that has uh, stopped by, thank you guys. Uh, I know oh, everyone. Again? Again? Really? Again. 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 Uh, I'm going to be doing it. Do you have you like a timer doing... running or? <laughs> Yeah, if you keep doing this, you're going to get Canadian citizenship before too long. <laughs> right? Sorry. You know, I probably should have been granted it after my last puzzle stream because I was <laughs> constantly thanking people. You know, as punishments go, I've heard worse. <laughs> I mean, I am all for that sweet, sweet healthcare. Oh. Ooh, right, though. Mm. Yeah, but like. Mm. How are the wealthy people gonna get better health care before everyone else? They if still we don't care. have like a for profit system. My my mm. understanding is that in Canada, like there is still um like like your basic health care is covered, but then you still have may have to shell out for like anything extra. There's a waiting period too, and the waiting period is much too. longer than fucking liberals, I swear. When it comes to healthcare, like and examining other countries and how they have their system set up, like, like yeah, Canada has the long wait times and and other issues, and yeah, like a lot of European examples of social medicine, um, you know, that some work better than others, and some have different problems. But like, you know, opponents yeah. to doing such a thing here will always point to like uh, Venezuela or whatever, and 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 uh, all the worst examples they can. It's just cherry picking. It's just cherry picking. And, like, I don't think anyone is advocating for wholesale copy-pasting another country system onto America because it just would never work that way. You have to tailor it to, um, you know, our specific circumstances as a nation. By the way, by the way, don't tell critics of Venezuela. The problems with Venezuela are mostly due to Western fucking intervention. Shh, no, 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 it's a secret. Shh. Shh. Oh, wait, that was a secret? <laughs> Fuck, I probably shouldn't have made all those Twitter posts. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Sorry, guys. That's my fault. I mean, we have a country where people will literally not get rides to the ambulances because they don't want to pay for the fucking cost of using an ambulance. Yeah, I, I refuse to take an ambulance because uh, me no. too. Several thousand dollars for a fucking ride, just Fuck because I've been had to take one there. a few weeks back because he busted his shit on mm. some stairs. Mm. Like teeth were janky, and he almost busted through his lip. Pretty no. sure he did actually. No, not quite. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, at least it was not quite, but that's still uh, massively fucked up. And way too fucking expensive for what it is. Yeah, yeah, that, like, cost ten grand. Mm -hmm. Yep, just... Yeah, no thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't want to pay that. America has the best healthcare in the world if you have the money to pay for it. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And the problem yeah. is the vast majority of us cannot pay for it. Mm. Right? Hmm. Mm. 
I don't know of too many people that can pay for it. Yeah. Uh, yes, Joey, the U.S. health system is very much uh, expensive and messed up. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that healthcare is highly privatized. Yeah. And there is, there is a spreadsheet, actually, of, like, what certain things are supposed to cost. And the cost of those things do not match up to what you mm -hmm. charge. Because like of... ninety bucks for an aspirin, get the fuck out of here. Yep. Like, yep. Miss me. Why does privatizing an industry instantly make it worse? Like the electricity companies in California a while back. Like, I don't think it necessarily instantly makes it worse. Um, the argument, the argument for why it should be done. It, and I don't agree with this, this is what you'll just hear, is that um, it fosters competition and growth and development. And, you know, That's bullshit. Stuff. That's bullshit. It's, it's, yep. it, is. Um, it is. It is nominally true to a point, particularly true, in things exactly. like manufacturing and like, you know, sciences and what have you. But even there, so, so much of the initial bill gets uh, is often footed by governments and taxpayer money where, you know, in order to make a technology commercially viable, someone usually has to take the hit with the R and D. And most often it's governments that do that, uh, who, who lead the way, you know, who send people to, to, to the moon and, you know, develop the early internet and, you know, do, do this, that, the other. And then once all the, uh, you know, once, once the public sector, irons a lot of that shit out then privatization um becomes more viable because now the products can be competitive in, in, in that environment and rendered cheap enough for common schmucks to afford in some shape or form the problem is with healthcare is that um it's health care and people's lives <laughs> and maybe it shouldn't be private yeah, no that that would be that would be quite nice if it weren't private. Uh. Yeah, well, who it, the it, fuck cares about people's lives? I mean, well, they yeah, don't. If I can't That's make the a thing. Fuck off you, you might as well die. <laughs> the bourgeois don't give a fuck about the people who actually control society, which is the working class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the taxpayer. We like, fucking. We, we work the factories, we work the R&D teams, we manufacture, they take credit for our labor and make millions of dollars off it. I worked in a slaughterhouse for three years, and then I worked in other factories. Like, mm, mm. I really think that these systems are just in place. They, they, they give all sorts of excuses for why these systems need to be in place. But really, it's just a separation between the privileged and the unprivileged. Uh, uh, and it's also a race issue, too. Not to yes. bring that, but... Mm. It very much is. And, Joey, uh, if you go to the hospital and you're bleeding out or something, they will see you. They legally are required to see you and treat you, but you are going to get... No a massively horrendous uh, mm -hmm. medical bill that will put you in debt for likely the rest of your life. A decade, at yeah, least. At least. Um, I mean, even if even if you have semi-decent insurance, um, the co-pays on something big could yep. still put you under. Yep. 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 Um, which is why insurance is a fucking racket. Uh I was well, briefly, uh, technically, an insurance agent. Um, I did not actively sell it. I was more on like the, the service side, and it wasn't um, it wasn't health insurance. It was like annuities, which is more yeah. which is more in like the life insurance vein. But 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 the general principle is the same. It's it's everybody pools in money regularly to help pay for the costs when uh, you know ultimately a minority at any one time needs a payout. Okay. And that's all well and good, except that the rates are such to allow 
fucking C level corporate schmucks of these companies to continue to make six, seven, eight figure yearly take homes plus bonuses and whatnot when they really don't have to and could return more of that money to the pool, lower everyone's rates and still be upper class, still be wealthy. Um, well, and the same is true of every, every other business too. I mean, Jeff Bezos could still be a fucking millionaire and pay all of his workers double or triple, you know? Um, but he doesn't have to, so he doesn't. Because he can, it, it's like his money dick, you know? You got to measure that money dick. I have a bigger money dick than everybody else, you know? Exactly. Exactly. And 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 that, like, to, to broaden it out even further, like, like with, with politics, with economics, um, and and with with all the like the tribalism that comes with it all i i need people to stop thinking about socialism capitalism communism democracy i, I need people to stop thinking about they th about these things about these concepts as idealistic monolithic um yes. like policy mm -hmm. prescriptions mm -hmm. and instead as tools in a toolbox. Yep. And, like, and why are I, we a two-party state? Or there country? is there like, is no reason why we can't yeah. have a functional, healthy, democratic, capitalistic society that is also socialistic. In that there is a there is a the, 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 there is a floor. Yep. Beyond uh, which one cannot fall. Like next. like. Where where mm. your basic needs are still covered, mm. you may you will still be poor. You may still be be below the poverty line, but you will never be homeless. You will never be without adequate health care. Yeah, you will. The, the, there there or, are all yeah. those basic yeah. things that you really kind of can't control when life just slaps you upside the head and takes everything away, um, through no fault of your own. Like yeah. there, the like mm. like you should your life should never be ruined because of that. And even even if because there will be fuck ups and there will be degenerates who just want to live off the system. Oh, um, of course. You, you'll never get rid of that. But but why why try to punish those people by way of allowing the Punishing rich others. to yeah. game the system just mm -hmm. as badly, if not worse, in such no, a way it's that way drags worse. the entire system down, which is what we're sitting in currently. You know. If if you if you're hoarding millions and billions of dollars in offshore accounts and in and in tax deferred accounts and in trusts, that yep. is all money that is not circulating through the veins yep. of yep. capitalism, and it like, is actively it, making it, capitalism work less. The trickle down economic like it, it, you are you are actively working down. against it's the didn't. system you purport if you're a rich fuck and you're not pumping that money through the system so they don't they don't believe what they preach exactly. they just want to benefit their class of people and they don't really give a fuck about consistency because who's going to hold them accountable <laughs> them no one i'm going to hold them accountable well they have money so that nobody has to hold them account fuck like you i got mine what the fuck is that i got That's mine true. fuck you mm. don't like uh, that Chris, I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you so much for coming by. Sorry, you guys, I'm doing it again. Thanks. I greatly appreciate you. Have uh -huh. a good day, you polite cunt. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what a bitch. I Logan, know, right? I am so glad that you've chosen to come by. I know that you were here for my destruction. However, comma, space, that's not going to happen. I am all powerful. You are a bug. Wahaha. I love you, Logan. You're the best. Great. Nice. Wow. Wow. Like, really? Come on. I know. I'm even polite when I'm trying to, like, talk down on people. It's just... Ah. <laughs> I can never win, can I? You're basically no. the worst. Yeah, I know. Basically. I was watching this Richard Ramirez documentary, and I think he really pales in comparison to Mango here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too polite for my own good. I know. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Just... 
Y'all are going to have to deal. I'm sorry. My cat wants inside. Aw, oh, kitty. Where are my boys? I'm sorry that I am so polite, everyone. You should you be. You should be. Or Damn. Am. God damn it. <laughs> I go to apologize and immediately I'm attacked for apologizing. I know what an asshole. <laughs> God, what a bitch. How dare she apologize for being so polite? Right? Yeah. So polite, too. Goodness. Like, stop it. Stop it. I can't do anything right. <laughs> no, you can't. I can't, can't even walk even... upstairs or down correctly. I, I can't. Really. I fall every single day. Look at this kitty cat. Hi, kitty cat. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness! Is that a gingy? That is a Category Five kitten right there. <laughs> Oh, what type of cat do you have, Blair? Is it? Well, we can already tell you that it is a pretty kitty. Yes. Yeah. I think he's a gray tiger stripe, if I'm not wrong. Oh, that was a gray boy? Yeah. His name is Ashes. Yes. I had that is the perfect name. Russian blue, and I named him Ash. Yeah. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> but currently I have a ginger boy and a tuxedo. Cute. No. I have a gangly and a chunk. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Everyone needs a chunk. I had another cat named Jezebel, but she was a lot of trouble, so I took her to the <laughs> That's her. why you named her Jezebel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I will be right back. Okay. We're already, we will be here. Because where else would we be? It's a Tuesday, and I am this far into this puzzle. I am not leaving until this puzzle is complete. <laughs> oh, and then, everyone, please remember to check out Security Monitor Lizard's channel, his backup channel tonight, to learn about the charity stuff that we are doing for uh, Ukraine. And to get, you know, just overall updates on the ward. Content warning, because there probably is going to be, you know, actual combat footage and stuff that is shown. Uh, Lizard, let me know if you want me to open up a voice chat during your stream again. Because if you do, I can do that. I have stuff prepared in case you need me to do that, so just let me know. And if you're not here listening, then I will text you and ask you, because... I can do that. Now we're getting into the good stuff of this puzzle. Because it's almost done already. Somehow. We just gotta put together the pictures. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. Why are y'all... Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful that y'all are here. And yes, y'all can like, pick on me later, it's fine. I'm pissed y'all are here. Get out! Oh my gosh, don't scare away the people. my friend, go away! <laughs> <laughs> I can be friends with all people! No! I'm so possessive! Oh my god, fucking overly possessive people, they just, they get to me. Dude, it's not good. Like, 
you know, a little jealousy here and there is one thing, but it it it, it can be too much very quickly. Oh, it most definitely can get to the point of being way too much, way too fast. Yeah. And I am not a fan of the way too much, way too fucking fast. Yeah, I, I, you know, I've been guilty of it. Um, you know, in in, uh, in my youth, um, feelings and hormones are a weird thing, but uh, it's not good, and you gotta you gotta nip it in the bud and just when you feel it coming on, or see it. Oh, for yeah, sure. I think I took my hormones today. Did you take your hormones today? Did I? T I took my birth control this morning, didn't I? I did. Did I? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Why, hello. Hello. Um, I'm going through the ADHD struggle of I can't remember if I took my birth control this morning or not. Oh, <laughs> shit. This is why I got the arm implant, so I don't have to think about if I... <laughs> oh. You set an alarm? Uh, I used to set an alarm for my birth control. Then I started taking it in the morning whenever I took my ADHD meds. But I've been going through so much stress and stuff lately that uh, I haven't been taking my ADHD meds regularly like I'm supposed oh, to. Oh, snap. Yeah, um, I would, I would I get back on the that. alarm. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I started using it for uh, for my pills as well, and it's, it's necessary. I mean, even with the alarm, I still have moments like that where I'm like, Fuck! Did I just dismiss the alarm, or did I actually take it? Yeah. <laughs> you know. So, but it, it definitely at least makes me um, think about it at the same time every day. I mean, my doctor, like, she's aware that I haven't been like taking my meds regularly. She knows why I haven't been taking my meds regularly. So, like, she's not concerned about that. Thankfully, That's okay. good. mine yells at me when I don't pick them up from the because they're so strict on the regulation and rules and that if I don't pick it up on time, there's like a blip that goes. Oh, yeah. So the, the, if I don't pick my meds up on time, there is a blip that gets sent over to my doctor's office and they're just and to my insurance. And they're just like, oh, hey, maybe she doesn't actually need these. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like insurance. Right. And it's just you like, oh. What the? It's just kind of like, oh, fuck you. I do need these meds. That's why. Oh, I'm my goodness. Very careful. Wow. This can cut hair. Let's see. Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. 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 What? what happened? What's going on? Uh, my husband sharpened my Swiss Army knife that I've Ooh. had for like 20 cool. years. And now it can cut my hair. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn! It can shave his face. Like it did. It I, did. I, I need some some good sharpening stones. I have like a shitty pocket sharpener that's good for getting something functionally sharp, but not like that. Ah! Uh, I need to pay someone to do that for me because I'm too stupid. Oh, uh, gladly. <laughs> Husband will get yeah yeah. It's definitely not hard. Um, I think it's just a process, uh, yeah. and if you just YouTube it, I'm sure you can walk through it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, it's uh, not nothing. <laughs> yeah, Ami, I mean also... that's exactly how insurance companies work. They yeah. only want to pay for what they absolutely have to. Yep. On paper, so, it's on paper it's to maximize the insurance pool for for everyone paying into it, but uh, in practice, it's also to keep the C level paid. It's nice almost bad. as if these are rapacious for profit middlemen between us yeah. and our healthcare. It's almost okay. like if it were like a, 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 a like a like an ethical nonprofit that maybe had a lot more government oversight and wasn't there to you know. Just gouge. It might might work a little better now. Just saying. Maybe. Well, you know. Maybe a little more cost effective. Mm, possibly. 
Uh, but if you let the government run it, they'll always fuck up. Well, except for all the times the government doesn't fuck up that you never hear about because it's working. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know. I I think that uh, I think you might be wrong there because you know the government says so. I mean, the people say so. I mean, everyone says something different all the mm-hmm. fucking time. Nothing yeah. I I really I really gel with what you're saying about this anti-America stuff. I'll have you know, Russia, the Russian news has told me about how much better it is over there. <laughs> oh man, the Russian news, you say? That is next. You're gonna start saying Russian Trump 2024, news. right? Hmm. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go figure the aspiring fascist is praising the successful one, right? <laughs> right, though. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, bye. Go figure. How, how that, oh, and, and all of his ilk, too. In, in, in that fun. Ain't that the missing elk. Yeah, the missing elk. Yep. Sorry, I missed. <laughs> Y'all are all ridiculous, and I love you. And I'm so glad that y'all chose to be here. And yes, I'm Kisses. doing it again. Y'all can fuss at yeah. me later. You're being nice. Stop it. Again. Kisses. Stop it. I hate you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, y'all are the best, and I love you. And I appreciate y'all all being here. And I'm doing it more because you, the, the, I can. Fuck you. Good. That's the appropriate yeah, response. It's your channel. It's your show. You do what you do. Listen, listen. The appropriate I- response to our trolling you is spite love. That you, <laughs> yes. You're, you're, yes, you're... that kills me. Like, ooh, that spite love. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Why are you being nice? Stop it. Because I can. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so nice that spite love doesn't even work that well. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> oh, God. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm trying so hard over here and it's not working. God damn it. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, she just gave me spite love. <laughs> I can't even spite love right. I'm too polite. Right? Oh, damn it. And that rhymes. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, man, so thoughtful. Like, wow, though, Mango is such a bitch. I can't. Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> it's no wonder that no one wants to spend time with me on these streams. I mean, have you met me? Good God. Yeah, well, what, what really? kind of... Like, what are you doing? Puzzles? So boring. Oh, my Puzzles? God. Ha, girl. <laughs> I'm puzzled as to how you think this is content, ma'am. <laughs> right? Get good, scrub. Ah, <laughs> uh, so funny. So funny. Yes, Ami, we do all have wonderful trauma responses. Our trauma responses make us who we are. Stop calling it the carpet. Damn it. Ooh, Fine someone in trouble. <laughs> it was a cat, but of course my husband responds, Fine, gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm looking at all of these trauma responses and I have like all of them. 
Hi, welcome to uh to the trauma response stream. I'm Mango Jones, and I am nine trauma responses in a trench coat. Yay, <laughs> trauma! Specifically nine trauma. Yes, uh, very specifically nine trauma responses in a trench coat. No more, no less. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's probably no, more, but I'm, I'm choosing to pretend that they don't exist. Oh, yeah, that's fair. If I ignore them long enough, maybe uh, people won't realize that they're trauma responses. Or even better, they'll just go away. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> ignore them and they don't <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how that works. See, you get yeah, it. Let's yeah, I know science. <laughs> I'm a scientist, right? Right, friends? Yeah, you're totally a scientist. Please, please clap. I, I trust please your scientific clap. opinion. <laughs> please clap. Yo, that's so sad. <laughs> I feel bad for Jeb Bush. He must be the black sheep. Dude, I... Uh, what, 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 what's got something against black sheep now? What? Fucking knew you were racist. Uh, no. <laughs> um, oh, but, I'm uh, a legit black yeah. sheep. I I still legitimately love uh, the Jeb meme of him like with his arms spread and his eyes closed, and he's just like 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 some kind of like you know exalted god godhead <laughs> figure. He's like, Ugh. and there's there's one where where it was a, I it am was, blessed. It was, a, it was an electoral map. And it had it had all the candidates at the, at the bottom, but the entire country was yellow, and it and the key said Jeb, and it was just him standing over. Like, <laughs> yes, oh, that's my president. Yeah. <laughs> I love that meme. I don't know why, but I, every it's election so cycle now to the end of time, I will keep using it. It's your favorite because it is the most ridiculous of all of them. Like. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he's, he's the lamest. He's the lamest. And that's why he's the greatest. The lamest is the greatest? Like, yeah, that's, listen. I, we just established that I know science. Don't question me. <laughs> That's right. You do know so everyone. Just uh, let him science in peace. It's okay. We'll, <laughs> we'll frame it and we'll we'll put it up by the fridge. He doesn't deserve on the fridge yet, though. Oh, look at what? that! He's trying science. Oh, my oh. But mom, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But now, two guys, now that I know that you're younger than I am, ooh, I'm going to pick on you. Oh, <laughs> oh, watch me give a shit. Go ahead. Do yours. I know, right? Like, wow. 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 Why are we the way that we are? Uh, how much time uh, do you have, and what's your yeah. rate per hour? Uh, trauma, trauma and no, yeah. other things. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, so sorry, y'all. I I almost forgot that the uh, the trauma was included in all of this. Um, that's that's my bad. Jerk. Mm. No, my bad for real. Like shit. Damn. <laughs> Gosh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that movie in forever, probably because like Napoleon Dynamite's one of those movies where like you watch it the one time and then I just can't watch it again after that. Because yes. like the it, all the good stuff was seen and done the yep. first go through. Here's the thing yep. though, the it's first been a while around, and you, then... might, you might go back and watch it again now and fall in love again. Who knows? No, I, I tried to watch it a couple times, and I'm just like, no. You. You're lying. I watched Juno the other day, and I <sighs> fell in love. Really? Oh, I love Juno. Right? So right? good. 
Yes. You know a movie I could just watch over and over? Which one? Uh, Big Lebowski. Uh, yes. Oh my God. Absolutely. The dude abides. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just watched that for the first time this year. Really? <gasps> no. No lie, no joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so Why good. did it take you so long to watch it? I didn't see it till a couple years ago myself. Uh, because well, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, it just and never happened. Other things. Okay, well that's understandable. Like I, I can respect it. I knew a kid at school whose mom didn't like. Was adamant about him not playing video games that were intended for older audiences. It's like. I just don't understand that because my mom just let me play Grand Theft Auto as much as I want at like five years old. So, <laughs> Damn. kind of the opposite extreme, right? <laughs> I turned out perfectly fine. <laughs> sure, you did. <laughs> I turned out a okay ish. 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 Asterisk. <laughs> Great asterisk. My issues. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's mm. an entire asterisk on my life, and that's okay. Like, it, you know, it's just one of those things. Else. Yeah, I love it. It gives me a different outlook on my end. I swear, it makes me more compassionate and more loving towards people too. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Like, it's it's okay to be a little, you know, weird and off. And, yeah. You know, some people might call me off-putting, but that's okay. You are. You're so polite. Damn it. Yeah, I know. That's off-putting. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm too polite for my own fucking good. <laughs> Which, by the way, thank you to everyone that is here right now. I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to check out Lizard Stream tonight. And uh, yeah. Yes, I love you all that are here. Somehow you guys have chosen to stay with me for four hours of your life. And well, that's, uh, I don't know if that says more about me that I sit here and do puzzles for four hours on stream. Or if it says more about you that you would sit here and watch me do a puzzle for four hours on stream. I'm a housewife. Like... My cleaning yes. is done. I have nothing to do. Like Christ. <laughs> well, that's perfectly fine. Hang out. <laughs> Enjoy the puzzles. No. Get that to oh, the only thing I Clean have to houses. do is my husband when he just shook his trunk at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, he shook his trunk at you. Um, Interesting. Is that like an actual trunk? That does he have a trunk in his pants? Um, what what direction are yeah. we going with this conversation? Yes, yes he does. He has. Oof. Okay, Wait, mango. So the thickums. Yeah, everybody has a trunk. I. Everybody has a trunk, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Your torso is called the trunk sometimes. Oh, true, true facts. Yeah. Yes. I didn't even think about that when I went to say that. No, it's just the uh, my but mind. No, I meant trunk. Place. Like the dick and balls. That's the trunk. That's where my mind was. That's uh, yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> Whereas us ladies in the LGBT call it our little tormentors. Ooh. I like that. I one. like it. I that like one, it. That one's good. Like that, that's good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I, I, I the, the summertime needs to hurry up and get here. Like, I, the summer needs to hurry up. Mm. 
Uh, yes, ball. Puzzle Stream 3, the two Puzzle Stream. Uh, I couldn't think of anything catchy when I was coming up with the title. Because, of course, as everyone knows, calling the second of something Electric Boogaloo is just, it's common practice. It has to be done. <laughs> That's true. It's a fact. Yeah, like, it, it's required at this point. Like, come on. But uh, when it comes to part three of something, well, I was at a loss, and uh, Two Guns over here said that he was going to unsub because I didn't <gasps> think of anything catchy. Really? I was deeply hurt by the, uh, and offended, frankly, at the lack of creativity in the title. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. I, I, I mean, flagged the channel. I reported it. Um, this is probably your last hurrah here, Mango. Yeah, wow. yeah, I, I understand that. Like, I, I get it. I'm not hurt or offended by it, the fact that you would do that because, well, quite frankly, it's deserved. <laughs> I'm too polite about my own channel getting canceled. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, well, my for God. One thing, we, we all know that it's a joke. So I'm teasing. <laughs> Someone teach me how to be mean because I'm at a loss here. Okay, here's a lesson yeah. one. Call me a stinky doo doo face. But you're not, though. Repeat after me. Two guns, you're Nah, a you're a fucking face. asshole. There we go. Bam. Uh, you that's fuck. lesson two. You're going to have it. I just I I don't see the point in being unnecessarily mean. Like it's one thing when I'm being petty towards someone that deserves it. Like uh you should hear me when I talk shit on people like Tragic and Dark Ninja. Mm -hmm. Like I do not hold back, but there's good reason for that. They deserve it. What if you're well, a dumb? Here's, here's the I'm thing not. about about this interaction is that we're all friendly here. And it's all in good fun. And you're a stinky doo doo head, so you should probably just call me one too. But, God damn it, I can't. Yes, you can. I believe in you. I don't believe in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. There's your problem. You gotta be nice to yourself. No, I'm hard. never nice to myself. <laughs> like, I, I cannot be nice to myself. Uh, I've been working on it. But you know, trauma responses and stuff. I, I just, I, I don't. I feel you there. Most assured. I'm just Free like, mm, no, I, I don't deserve the niceness. And then I get fussed at by, like, my bestie who is like, "What the shit? You need to stop that." Whatever, stinky. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Look. Look, if you can't be mean to your friends, who can you be mean to? No one. I'm never like I, what? <laughs> Look, your your friend your friends can take it. I can take it. Um, I do have a backbone. I have quite the strong backbone when it's necessary to have. But otherwise I just I don't because like yeah. People that deserve to be mean to, people that deserve the snarkiness and the pettiness, they get. But otherwise, I just, I try my best to be as nice as I can to everyone until they give me a reason not to. Well, I agree with that. Except when we're just joking. Yeah. Yeah. No, when no, we're just no. joking, we're it's ooh, all the snark, all the sass, all the chirping. Yeah. For yeah, real. Dude, I say... I probably say the most heinous shit I ever say to my friends because because, exactly. because none of it isn't none of it's real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None yeah, of it's see, real. I I just like there's only one person that I've ever been able to really do that with and like that's because I talk to them all the time. I don't know how you how you feel about Shabisky, but Shabisky is my homeboy. Uh I've met him in real life. Uh, I'm on his streams all the time. He's he's a sweet boy, and all he's we do over there boy. is bust each other's balls. And play just games. gonna say, and and it might it may maybe you should pop over there and and listen to the stupid potty humor insults we come up with for each other. I think Chev smoked too much weed. There's no such thing as too much. 
Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I've heard of Shibisky, but I have never actually watched a Shibisky stream. It's true. Yeah. I mean, imagine, Im honestly, imagine this, except he's smoking weed and playing video games, and we just talk about different shit. Like, it, well, it's I'm an extremely smoking. similar vibe. Oh. Currently, like... Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> like, like, I'm hanging out here uh, lately for all, for most of the same reasons that I hung out, hang out over there. Like, we just chill conversation. You know? Nice. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, no, this seems like a very cool, chill space. And that's, that's why what I'm, I'm currently here talking to y'all. <laughs> Same. Well, well, that's something that Weed like... is a social construct. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I wanted for my channel was, you know, outside of, like, the educational streams that I like to do, I wanted people to just be comfortable and happy. Because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very I... hard to find places within the internet that you can just, like, be comfortable with being yourself and yes. comfortable with there other are bean bag being chairs yourself. here and like the big bean bag and i am just floop in one of them all right ladies i have to step into a meeting for a bit uh i will be back uh I, i'll probably just drop Thank out you. and come back later if you're still okay. on if i'm still around then you're more than welcome in the link will be the same of course sweet mm -hmm. uh nice chatting with y'all i'll talk to you later take care yeah. Now can we talk shit about him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, oh my god, like, however. <laughs> oh, oh, I love two guns. Two guns, two guns is so Stop great. Stop it. Two guns is one of my favorite people. And oh, I'm just, I'm glad that everyone finds this space as comfortable as I've been, like, trying to make it. Yes, this is beanbag chair and hot cocoa moments. And I'm just <laughs> sitting around with my girls or guys or whoever. My envies. We are pretty far into this puzzle, too, at this point. We're getting there. I see. I haven't even been paying attention, but damn. I love puzzles. <laughs> like, I, so many people are just like, oh, well, I mean, it's cool to love puzzles, but like, how much do you like puzzles? I'm like, no, you don't get it. I love puzzles. And then I turn out shit like this. On a regular basis, just sit down and knock out puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. And I am 100% here for this. Like, oh, oh, yes. This is the calm and chill that I like. Yay! I just, I want everyone to find this space to be as calm and chill as possible. And everyone to embrace the calm and chill Because honestly, like at a certain point, I just I get tired of watching the lol cows and like hearing about the lol cows. Same. Oh, can you drop the link for the sh sham midnight? Oh, the link is buried. Okay. I didn't pin it or anything, so I'm not surprised <laughs> it got buried. Please. There it is. There we go. You throw out puzzles at your job all the time, Mickey. Oh no. Why? Puzzles are fun. Puzzles are good. Yes, yay puzzles. Everyone should enjoy puzzles. You're welcome, Ami. You're more than welcome in here.
really do wish I knew how I busted my chin. I'm like, damn. <laughs> it's starting to get purple and blue. Oh, no. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Yo. <laughs> No, I'm just a klutz, like really. The, and I'm clumsy ballerina. How is that possible? Clumsy well, ballerina. That's a good that's channel like name. An just moron. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Oh, that was husband. <laughs> Yo, right. Hello. I haven't seen what kind you. What this? Oh, hey. It's uh, pictures from the book and quotes from the book. Oh. Yeah, my icon reverted from that black guy, and now it's just my old one. That black guy. That black guy. Like... I, j I just looked up Trill on Google as a joke because I'm not a black guy, and that guy came up. Wait, Trill from DS9? Like, the lady oh. with the tattoos? <laughs> no, I like the ghetto Trill. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Why do you associate ghetto with black? Uh, Google did. <laughs> <laughs> Google made me do it. I grew up in the ghetto, and there was definitely a lot of black people. <laughs> you know, I think that's an issue. It's mo it was mostly Dominican and Puerto Rican people that I grew up with, though. Uh, Lizard, give me like two seconds. Oh, that's the recipe you needed. You need the meatball recipe. Okay, give me two seconds and I will resend you the meatball recipe. Okay. California roasted. I was looking around my uh, my YouTube suggestions. Everyone's talking about Will Smith. Well, yeah, because yeah, of course they are. Yeah, that was hilarious, though. I gotta say, it was a little funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. Chris Rock took a stride. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why everyone thinks it's a work because, like, the ratings for the Oscars have been horrible. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's their own fault. They don't like nominate the right people. Um, of course, it's all who makes the most or who licks asshole the most. Like, I hate that about the Academy Awards, Oscars. Like, mm, no. Never seen the Tonys. You know, I've never watched the Tonys either. And Same. I don't I don't think the Tonys is something that like I'm actually interested in watching. Is that like daytime TV or I don't know. I've never, I've never I never seen it. Yeah, I was about to say I think it's music theater. I love musicals though. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Lizard meatballs do not belong in your bunghole. Thank you. Um I'm sure it's happening. Yeah, I don't think that goes there. It just pop them out. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> that just that sounds like disaster waiting to happen and infects. Like lots of infections. Like bun bun poops. Just poop poop. Yeah, we were talking yesterday in a hangout about people who are obsessed with, like, putting food inside of themselves and, like, keeping it in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Um, what? Yeah, that's the thing, I guess. Yo. That's, yeah. Just, like, they think it's so hot, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm walking around with, like, a fucking burrito in my, in my twat. And, <laughs> and nobody yeah. knows. Oh, but bleh. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> mm. Okay, Lizard, I, uh, I texted it to you. 
recipe delivered. Yep. Because I made way too much food for just me and my mom. Oh, really? We had like a giant pile of pulled pork and a meatloaf with a uh, tomato sauce. Ooh. Sounds good, though. I kind of eat like Mickey. I'm probably just going to mix it all together. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cannot wait until like later this week so I can go over my ancestry results. With my food, because mm -hmm. those finally came in, and um, I I think I found a half sister that I didn't know about. Are you mostly like Hungarian or something, or at least that's what you thought? I forget what it was. German. German, yeah. No, parent. Like uh, I was looking at my thing, and uh, like my dad did ancestry before, which is why I did the ancestry test because, you know, wanted to connect with family if they were there and yeah um i have questions now <laughs> that need to be answered <laughs> i think mine the farthest back they could find an ancestor was uh someone who lived on i think it's the cane river in france hmm. i just i i really want to know um who this mysterious uh, CW is and why I share 50% of my DNA with her and she's not uh, uh, my mom. It's a bit odd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I share more uh, DNA markers with her than I do my dad. I have so many in my... Oof. Like, I call myself world mutt because I am from oh. everywhere except for the, like, Russian and Swedish, Norwegian mm. places. <laughs> the Scandinavian countries. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, Ami, the nationality does kind of matter between German and Hungarian when it comes to uh, how people migrated across the world at certain points in history. And, uh, like, it, it does have a lot to do with how your DNA is structured and, like, what type of characteristics, like, in your face and in certain traits that you have come from. One's going to be either German or Hungarian. It's not going to be both. Yeah, people from like uh, nations that are right next to each other can have very different DNA. Oh, absolutely. Just like us and Alaskans. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Almost nobody's related to them. <laughs> I know I'm related to Rose Pierre, the guy who started the guillotine in France. Oh, oh Rose Pierre? And then ended up with the guillotine. <laughs> Yo, what an inspiration. Uh, yes, Security Monitor Lizard is the whitest of the white. Um, isn't it 99.8% uh, from England was your DNA result? <laughs> <laughs> like oh um, my god that's my husband but scandinavian like 99 point something me. like ooh, so white. is the epitome of the straight white man like 98.9 mm -hmm. so white it's blinding right <laughs> Yeah, Northwest European. Yep, 99.8% 90, Northwest European. <laughs> yeah, Lizard has the brightest teeth of anyone I've ever seen. His teeth are gorgeous. <laughs> those are veneers. They have to be. No, those are his actual know. teeth. Like, really? better, are, that's like, better than my teeth. fucking yellow-ass smoker's teeth. I know I have yellow and tea smoker 
tea drinker. Wow, you're a tea, tea smoker. smoker. How- <laughs> Good job, bitch. Wow, wow. Ooh. Yeah, put some tea in the bong. <laughs> so, uh, how does smoking that tea work? Huh? It doesn't. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm, sounds like a bunch of bullocks and buggery. What what? What what? What what? What what what? Um just a message to all of the people that are watching, please do not oh. smoke tea. It is oh, yeah. uh Well, I I would assume that it's not safe. It sounds quite dangerous. You fucking yanks and your waters and your bongs. You don't know how to do it properly. <laughs> Put some tea in your fucking chamber. Shit. You guys don't even know how to make flapjacks proper. Yeah, fuck British flapjacks. That shit sucks. That's a weird granola shit, right? Yeah, it's granola. Who the fuck uses granola for that? No. No, it's wrong in so many ways. Fucking assholes. Use some granola. What's wrong with them? Yeah. A Russian yeah. nuke What? No, we're not in, going that in, far. In, my, in Minecraft. <laughs> God damn it, Rat. I know. I'm a bastard. Christ, I wish I could delete that, but I can't because I said it. <laughs> I wish you could delete what you said. <laughs> About smoking tea? Like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you, you can't delete that. It's I staying know. Up forever. I know, and I... <laughs> See, I have this habit of just like leaving all of my streams up. Well, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I gotta hide my phone my from myself when I drink. There's all kinds of stuff I wish I deleted. Don't text and drink. That's a terrible idea. I can drink again because Dr. Lady said so, but I will not, at least for another week or so. Just because. It doesn't feel necessary. Yeah, I'm taking the month off. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I prefer smoking. I can't smoke mm-hmm. because uh, I am on ADHD meds, and if I have it in my system and they go to drug test me, then they can deny me my meds. That Wait, is such what? Yep, I live in a state ow, where it's positive for weed when you go for your. Uh, Follow up appointment for your ADHD meds, they can deny it to you if you test positive. Yeah. I've never, like, I actually have a medical marijuana card and ADHD meds, Adderall. Like, yeah, I, I live in a fuck? state where uh, weed is illegal medically and recreationally. Oh, okay. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, it's a Big yikes. We gotta stop all the um, <clears throat> Doritos being eaten by these stoners. That's why yeah, weed needs to remain illegal. Stop <laughs> the, it. The Dorito shortage is a huge issue, you guys. Like, Ooh, the chili cheese Doritos. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, yes. Man, no, I want Doritos. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> God damn it, who mentioned Doritos? Fuck you. That was Blair. But we love Blair. So 
God damn, we're just gonna suffer and like think about Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking chili. Mary can't oh, leave her goodness. house because Mary has a bump on her chin. Agoraphobia too. Yeah, that that's oh, that's yeah. also an issue. <laughs> uh, uh, people. Yes, people make me anxious. Like even if they're my friend, I'm just like, oh my god, why, why are you here? Stop it! Please go away. Yeah, why are people like just no? Yeah, that's a good question. I I I haven't learned the answer to that one yet. It's just why are people? Why do people? How do people? Yeah, that that's a good. What one do people? Hey, well, persons. Yeah, there's so many questions that I don't have answers to. <laughs> It's all 42. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it really is. It's all 42. I know. <laughs> Man, we got a lot of weird laughter going on. We got a squeaker. We got a snorter. Yo, yo. Actually, we're going to make a show based off it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Why do people leave me with the internet unsupervised? This is what happens. I have kind of like a hyena laugh. Oh, if I get cackling, oh my goodness. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not certain. Nope, nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on this. Uh, we are so close to the end of this puzzle. Uh, once again, thank you to everyone that, for some reason, decided to spend the last four and a half hours with me. I greatly appreciate you. Stop being nice, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be nice to me. I'm not used to it. <laughs> yeah. Rot's a naughty little girl. Yeah, I'm a little black girl. God damn it, Rot. <laughs> <laughs> that just reminded me of Airplane. With the little blonde girl with the pigtails. Oh, no. I like my coffee like I like my men. <laughs> Ground up and in the freezer. Strong, dark, and black. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Airplane is a horrible movie. It's, it's up there with Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Of course it's a horrible movie, but it's so good at the same time. I like right? the old lady who spoke jive. Oh my god, right? The grandma. She had to go tra translate for them. <laughs> you see, Man, we feed on to die. each other. You snort, I or I snort, you speak, and vice versa. God damn it. We're struggling out here. Right. Struggle's real. We're struggling on these uh, mean streets of YouTube. The mean streets Ooh. of YouTube. And right away, this side of the YouTube streets got oh, a good situation here. What was that individual? What's the situation? Cheers. Uh, every Chilling, time someone, no cheese. Every time someone no cheese. Like no fucking uh, Brett Keen, all I can think about is goddamn fucking uh, origin. His. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, I think I mentioned I know someone who saw Brett Keen. Really? Really? Yeah, he saw him, you know, 
walking around stores, you know, like oh, an agoraphobic you, person does. Yeah, yeah, the agoraphobia. I Damn. still want to find where he's he very obviously not well, six foot two, by the way. Through the street. That was my friend who's a scaly and he's six feet tall. I think he's, a, he's also a porn star. Um, but yeah, he just happened Ooh. to see Brett Kane and it was like, yeah, he's probably like five, seven. Oh my God. Yeah, well, I can't talk. I'm five foot even. I'm six so. foot one. So. Whoa. Ooh, so I that? can climb you like a jungle gym? Mm-hmm. Mm. No. I am five foot ten. Yeah, yeah, more people to reach things for me. I'm five eight. Damn, I'm five foot. Good, y'all tall bastards. Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! <laughs> no, I am tall and I am overly polite to everyone. And thank you guys again for being here. Y'all can hate me later. I just hate you right now. You're tall. You're beautiful. Uh, mm. Oh. Oh, don't talk to me. She got a big butt. Yep. I do have a big butt. A nice, juicy hindquarters. Mm. Yes. The derriere. Yep. I think I've seen people's genitalia or some part of them around this circle. Yeah, I think I've seen Linnea Quigley uh, naked more than I've seen any other adults from like what, 80s mine. horror movies. In places because, yeah, not shy. <laughs> yeah, around these parts, uh, most people are very forthcoming with who they are and what they look like. And you know what? I am a okay with that because then if you ever meet them in person, at least nothing to the imagination. You knew exactly what exactly. to expect. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's why I never use filters when I take a selfie because it's like I can't hide the ugly parts of me if I meet yep. someone in person. I want to show the ugly part so that they know what the yeah. getting into uh, actually. Yeah. I hide my ugly. Aww. But you're gorgeous. <laughs> you are. I have met one person off of Discord in person and I do believe that they appreciated the uh well I am very much unashamedly myself. Yeah, like I'm me here and offline too. Just goofy, dorky. Oh, very much so with me. I too snort and... when I laugh, and yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that uh, I think that they appreciated who I am because, well. No, we plan on meeting up again and hanging out sometime this summer, I do believe. So that's going to be fun. Nice. Yeah. I love making friends. It's nice. I, I need to visit my girlfriend still. So. I like making yes, friends too. And ouch, this fucking bloop on my chin. What the fuck did I do? He done fucked up, and just a friendly reminder for everyone, it was not her husband. You can hear him in the background occasionally going, it wasn't me. Yeah. yeah, no, it wasn't. I am just a clumsy ballerina, like oxymoron. But yes, look, we're all clumsy bitches around here. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it ain't too good on my feet. You don't want to put me on a skateboard. That's a death sentence. Oh shit! Same. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Like, do you guys want to see me die? Because that's how I'll die. Like, no. Mm -mm. I can't walk down a hallway without hurting myself. Like, no. I can snowboard, but skateboarding? Mm, that's a whole how, other... How can you fish. manage to snowboard and you get you hurt yourself on the chin? Mysteriously. I don't... God damn ADHD. Right? Right? Like, mm-hmm. Welcome, Mommy. Howdy. Hi. Hey, who? Yeah. It's so lovely to have more people join in. It's very nice to have you. Yeah. Hello, Monkey. Hi, Rot. I'm glad. I'm glad to. I'm glad to see that you've stopped working. Yeah, I'll be working again soon. In like two hours. <laughs> Damn it. 
They never well, let me leave. Can't win them all. No, I can't. Leaving work? What? That's that's not a <laughs> thing. That's never been a thing. At least I can't get set on the fire and on fire at much as much uh, at the deli. But, yeah, that's true. They work them to the bone. It's not good. Mm, they work that bone. <sighs> well, they tried, and now it's muscle and bone. So. <laughs> yeah. Hot as fuck now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, what what is it? Your, your your muscle your muscle is just so that that from a distance you might look chubby, but and the minute someone touches you, <gasps> visible shock. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't look chubby. I'm I'm pretty slim. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm trying to avoid drinking. I don't want to puff up again. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Happily short and chunky. Oh yeah, uh, this doesn't this doesn't help your this doesn't help your case, Mary. But I'm six foot. Says my husband. Whoa. We should I'm share five height. foot. He's and I love climbing him like a jungle gym. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Very nice. Yum yum. <laughs> Hmm. Let me see if I can get an icon here. Yeah, I have one I'm going to use. In all honesty, yeah, yeah. I was drinking my Goya uh, Refresca earlier. Mm -hmm. There was a hair floating in it, and I like felt Ooh. it hit the back of my throat. So I like Ooh. muted and projectile oh, vomited in the trash can. Yeah, ew, 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 ew. Incredible. Ew. Uh, uh, that's disgusting. Ew. I, I, I barely I barely hit the mute button in time. You guys would have heard me like Oh my god. Why was there a hair in Look at my name. What do you think I'm gonna talk about? His hair, but uh, I hope it was mine. Don't right think about it. Nope. That, don't think about it. There are certain questions you just don't ask, and this is uh, nope. <laughs> well, that was fun. No, fun is not the word I would choose. But oh no, I think it's the word sardonic. I'm not sure. I think the word is sardonic. I told you that happened to me before. Uh, the first time I talked to uh, Paris, it was like four in the morning. And for some reason, uh, I was like, yeah, was, you know, so, so and so Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of nowhere. <laughs> Shot blueberries all over the place. I think you just ate too many blueberries. Yeah. It's going to hurt my Tinder game if anyone finds out about this. <laughs> Oof, apple juice blurfs. Oof. Sting. Oof. Oh, Mary, are you okay? My, my nausea has gotten a lot better since I've been uh, hitting those Delta 8 pens. For some reason, it really helps with my stomach. Oh, good. Good. Because I used to just feel really sick like every morning. I was like, am I pregnant? Like, why do I have morning sickness? <laughs> I would uh I would hope that you weren't pregnant, all things considered. You know, like uh the fact that you have a dick. Uh yeah, I know. Where's it gonna go? Mm. Unless it was a really tiny baby. Mm. So what we're talking about here today, folks, dick babies. Yes, yes, all the dick babies. Well, if you think about it, if you really had a pseudo penis, mm. yeah. fair enough. A diet penis. A diet oh. penis. No. Yeah. What I'm what exactly would a diet penis be? Is there a camera? Uh, it comes out. It comes out of your side <laughs> instead of the front. 
<laughs> Zero <laughs> calorie penis. <laughs> You know, I think I I think I have a I think I have a working theory for why for why conservatives maybe don't like consent, and I think it has something to do with the fact that if you're eating someone consensually, it's vegan. Oh. <laughs> no. I mean, well, you you technically aren't wrong. I agree. Oh, this is a fun one to think about. <laughs> so, Ron, just mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Uh, I mean, oh my you, god, you really I am so wrong. very sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Don't you worry oh, about it. I- I think I mentioned before the best way to fuck up conversations in a Discord. Just get a picture of Tucker Carlson and be like, and just write, uh, let's talk about Israel and watch everyone just start tearing each other's faces off. (laughs) Oh, damn. That's evil. It is evil. (laughs) I'm a menace. We are getting so close to the end of this puzzle. Yay! I like watching you do puzzles and just talking with you in general. It's it's fun. It really is. I'm glad that I can do this with everyone. And I'm glad that so many people seem to like to rotate in and out and like hang out when they can. It's fun. And I'm glad that it's... Yeah, it seems like a pretty relaxed hangout. Hang out. Yeah, it, all of my puzzle streams are like I I want to have the puzzle streams for people to be able to relax, unwind, talk about whatever, and then do informational streams on different days from the puzzles. And then of course the MAGA hat romance we're gonna get back into at some point, and that's just going to be painful. For I everyone. liked the panel on uh, carnivorous apes. Uh... Was it MGTOWs, incels, and extreme feminists? Ooh, um, oh, that, yes. was, that was a pretty fun show. Yes. Yeah. More like naked gape. Oh my god. Huh. I actually did not catch the uh, MGTOW panel because I was doing like a shitload of other things at the same time. Which sucks. I think I was on for like the last 20 minutes. I I caught most of the replay and it looked like it was a really good fucking show. Mm -hmm. It got a little locked up sometimes. You cannot bury that turd any further. Stop it. (laughs) (laughs) Are you sure about that? Because I I, I think that they're going to try and prove you wrong there. I know. Is it a Is it yep. cat? Yeah, I have two. A ginger and a tuxedo. Oh. That's <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Meow. <laughs> Very cute. Meow, That's meow, normal. meow, meow. Baby. Come here. My brother. Uh, he couldn't figure out why all his breakers kept going off in his apartment. And uh, it's because he had an outlet right next to the uh, cat box. And he oh, uses like a, a cedar based liver. So they kicked like, you know, cat piss soaked like cedar yeah. litter like into yeah. the outlet and it shorted it out. Oh, huh. <laughs> That's not good. That sucks. Fucking cat. I had an unspayed female that managed to piss inside my printer. Ooh. Like, what? just inside? directly inside the printer. What Ooh. the fuck? A little terrorist. <laughs> right? <laughs> but no, no. Like, I came home and there was we inside of my printer. Like, 
Bitch, what the fuck did you do? When my Siamese was alive, he couldn't leave piles of clothes around because he like preferred to pee on those. Mm. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's why for the longest time I had to have my bathroom door like closed with a little lock on the outside because if my male cat got inside of the bathroom, he would pee on the towels. Nothing else, just the dirty towels. Would you also chew your underwear because oh, on occasion? Unfixed, yeah, yep, yep, an unfixed. Oh, but the thing was, he was fuxed. Oh, he was, he was fuxed. Mm-hmm. Mm. For the longest time, I couldn't figure out where all my socks were disappearing to. And it's then Terrence, the dog, walked by and one was hanging out of his butt. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Have you some of the Minto I was like, you little minutes? fucker. <laughs> hey, Rav. A little anti uh, the Minto song. Rav. Hey, Rav. Thanks for coming hey. by. Again, I know, I think you were here earlier. I do believe you were. It's I feel not knowing if you were here earlier. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't me. That was uh that was uh Mary. Mary huh? didn't have to pay for yellow printer ink that day. Boss yelled at me again because I keep sneaking up on people and rubbing their shoulders and whispering, Daddy's home. And they were here. <laughs> <laughs> Why do that to people? Rot. That's, mm. Mm, that's lovely. Don't do that to people. <laughs> If somebody did that to me, I would think, oh, that's my husband. Just My husband's trying to be nice. And then suddenly, no, that's not my husband. But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, like, mm. Yeah, going to get my binoculars and go to the playground. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Right, hold, right. Not, hold not there. Yeah. Not on this channel. You canceled. you canceled for that one. Th- this is right. This is a no. I'll never story. get an Oscar now. I'm canceled. Rat's been watching too much Mr. Girl. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I've never sure. seen Mr. Girl. Are I don't think sure? it's worth. I don't think he's worth it. Really? What's Mr. Girl? Um, <laughs> debater, rapper. He, he uh he's someone who he's someone who's around Destiny's circle and oh. uh he was recently was exposed for uh an argument that he made that was very close to pedophilia. It's hard to say he Destiny was exposed. And who are these people? Oh my god. You know what? It's kind of actually better if you don't know. Yeah. Honestly. Okay. That's fair. Like, if you okay, want to cool. know, we can describe it, but these people are fucking not worth knowing about. I really don't. But Preserve yeah. your sanity while you can. I don't really like what debate. What little I have. In general. Right? I don't really see a, a lot of a point in debate because typically it never goes anywhere. I have good content. I've I've been in like I've been in in a debate community for it was like an offshoot of like a debate community for. I, I think somewhere around a year, and it was not fun. Uh, it, I, it, I ended, was, sh- it ended in a shit show. That's is that everything on the same server, Ami? Yes, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, I was a part of it too. That's where I met Ami. Yeah, it was toxic as fuck. So. And then I found you, peeps. I think that's where I met you too. Um, you weren't there, right? But nice. Uh, oh wait, no, must have been a different one. Right, right. I've been in your server for months, and I like never say anything ever. <laughs> That's all right. We okay. removed a whole bunch of people who were like completely inactive, but you you've been active before. Yeah, it's been mythologized. You know, it's it's possible. It's like it's like when uh, when I see you having a hangout, I'm like. Oh hey, I could join that. Then I'm like, oh wait, these people don't know me. It'd be so awkward. Oh, we don't care. My friends are really welcoming. 
Yeah, I'm oh, one yeah. of them. I'm one of those welcoming friends. This is the first. But you hate me, huh? I've actually I don't hate stated, you. I guess if that like I didn't oh, I... just dip in, dip out. I'm really glad that you chose to stay because I love hanging out with you, Mary. It's like talking to you on Discord. Like, yes, what? that's exactly what I feel like. But oh. it's but it's people, recorded. Other people are seeing it. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start doing more shows uh out of my server. We we've only done a few on Spotify. Yeah. Because like our our conversations are batshit insane. So like I wanna record them. <laughs> I'll I'll make sure to use a mic more often whenever you record. <laughs> like I am now. Mics are of the devil. I'm using a thirty dollar mic. And they capture I your have voice. My earbuds. Wait, wait. Are you telling me the year against technology that was available in the early yeah, 20th century? I think I think things were better like pre industrial revolution. Selectively, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll do a podcast through carrier pigeons. Yeah, I'm nah, sure the poor and I can't thing. get the proper microphone set up thingy. <laughs> Uh, my microphone was given to me by my brother because when he ordered his new microphone, he initially was just wanting the microphone stand and didn't realize that it was so expensive because it came with a microphone. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, uh, one of the gigantic brothers. Yes, Lucky. one of the gigantic brothers. Uh, and so he gave me this one, and I am very appreciative. Gigantic brothers? Wait. Oh, yes. Her brothers uh, are fucking huge. Uh, they're just six foot eight and six foot ten. What the fuck? Yeah, what? The actual fuck? What? That's the that, yeah. Uh, I have an uncle that's like seven foot even. Mm -hmm. Giant even fucking ogres. Gi <laughs> I mean, we're not <laughs> ogres. Like, oh my goodness, ogres! Yeah, <laughs> we're not ogres. Do they also like onions. <laughs> uh, no, it actually, sounds like one a of growing them problem. Is there's no problem. It's just people. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna have to call an exterminator. Giant people are spawning all over the place. Right, right. Okay, uh, Mary, this, this you're, you're reminding me of right. You're reminding me of some batshit theory that my dad tried to teach me uh, about like giants existing in Antarctica. It was very weird. Oh, you mean they don't? Oh, the flat Earth shit. Okay. Oh yeah, my dad. My dad I forgot <laughs> gotcha. to, to mention my dad's gotcha. a flat earther. Yep. <laughs> really? What? Seriously? Oh, this is a thing. And yep, he's he, oh. he's also white, and he's also white, and believes black Israelite shit. So I don't know what's oh. wrong with him. Oh my god! Sounds like a lot of things are. Yeah, there's something wrong there. This guy's all over the place. <laughs> Oh, so uh, Mary, I don't mean to upset you, but you're you're five foot even, right? Yes. Uh, my eight year old is four inches shorter than you. <laughs> my eight year old. He's gonna be you. <laughs> I all know. The, all of my younger siblings well, are taller than you. Know, you. when I picked up my kid from like kindergarten, there were kindergartners taller than me. <laughs> and I was just like, God damn it, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, you should try to flex on them. <laughs> I remember <laughs> hearing Bill Burr on his podcast. He was talking about going to Sweden. And he was like, everyone's fucking gigantic. Like, a, uh, like a 12-year-old walked by and that was like six foot two. And he still yeah. had like a twelve-year-old voice. So he was like, "Yeah, it's Like, yeah, but, uh, five yeah. year old walks by talking perfect English, and I'm just like, "What the fuck? How are you taller than me?" But you, you, the way you need to flex on them is you need to be like, "Hey, kid, look what I'm doing." Down, He's like, does driving a legally. fucking car. I don't <laughs> drive. <laughs> I'm buying I cigarettes. have anxiety, so I don't drive. Vote. Yeah. yeah. Vote. <laughs> yeah, anxiety. Vote. I fucking hate anxiety. But I, I do, do vote. Yes. 
sells their soul for money. Look, kid, look how cool I am. <laughs> you kids got I your do. homework. I got my crushing nine to five. <laughs> yeah, you guys do all that homework. I'm going to go sell my soul and cry a lot. Yeah. I'm going to sell my oh, body. Oh, you think you need therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm definitely in therapy. Once a month, I go and talk to a very nice lady. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I go like twice a week now. I, I'm fucked up, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a lot I, of shit that's I... been going on like in my personal life. Oh, I called in an sorry. emergency session actually uh, not too long ago because like I, I had a really bad nightmare about going back to jail and I woke up and I like literally Ooh. I literally kissed the carpet because I was so grateful Ooh. to like not be confined. <laughs> There's a medication that you can take for nightmares, Prisocin. Yeah, see, I need to talk to my doctor about that because uh, because I I'm on that sleep. now, and I only have good dreams now. I have like I, oh I, I probably God, should look lovely. into that because like I get really, really mm -hmm. like uh, rapid fire vivid uh, nightmares and dreams and stuff like that. Do you wake up gasping and being like? Dip! I wake up punching. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yep, yep. You should look into this medication then. Yeah, I am for sure going to look into it because, uh, well, the nightmares that I've been having are not pleasant. Right? Most nightmares aren't pleasant, actually. I love my nightmare medication. Mm -hmm. I've only been having good <laughs> dreams. So I thought you were about to say that you love your nightmares and I was about to be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. Nightmare, nightmare, no. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't like your nightmares. It's dangerous. I don't know. I kind of like my nightmares a little bit. It's like a horror movie you get to be in. Oh, yeah, fuck I, uh, that. I've, I've. This is one of the rare times I've been able to dream in black and white, and uh, it was literally just like uh, it, was, it was basically like this weird Frankenstein puppet show I was watching. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm scared, but I'm I'm gripped. <laughs> right. It's just like so I'm invested in this now. Uh, see where this goes. One of my more interesting nightmares, it wasn't that scary, but like I was with my friend Jenny and we were at like a beach house or something like that. And then I just hear like the droning of engines. And I see a bunch Ooh. of fucking bombers overhead and I'm like, oh shit. If they're overhead, that means they already dropped their bombs and everything starts blowing up. Oh, so we run away and we're trying to like run across this river and like these woods that were near the house. And uh, the, the river rocks were all slippery and I was like stumbling on them. And I look up and who do I see? Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> and, what? And, uh, and, and, and he looked and he looked at me and he said, I don't know why I'm here either, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just woke up first. laughing. Well, that's good. My I think my subconscious realized how ridiculous it was that Jeff Goldblum there. was there. Oh my god. When Jeff Goldblum is in your dreams, you gotta know you're dreaming, right? Yeah. I yeah. haven't even seen any movie with him in years. <laughs> so it's like, why is he in my dream? Yeah, that, uh, because he's Jeff Goldblum. Theory. He's saving me from bombs for some reason. <laughs> Look, okay, Jeff Goldblum is like the greatest action actor Did of all you time. See Thor Ragnarok before he went to bed in oh, any capacity. Actually, yeah, so I have seen something with him. There but he didn't it is. appear as he didn't Ooh. appear as that character. Yep. It was just himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that movie. That's one of my favorite Marvel movies. Same. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop snorting. <laughs> I hear you laugh and I start cracking up. I mango. Stop it. 
You know, I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> you know, before I hopped on, before I hopped on stream, um, I was, I was, I was, I was waiting to see if you would do the, if you would laugh to the tune of Jingle Bells. You, you got there a little bit. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, so if... wrong for that. I... <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you wanted someone to make a remix of your laugh, you know, that's the perfect song. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, just bind it to a MIDI and fucking pitch shift it. I've heard about not people wrong, wanting to make it of their wrong. ringtone. Well, I mean, it seems like Jingle Bells could be done in one note. Like you can just, yeah, it is just one note, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. so like, to me, it seems like you know, just make sure. It, to me, it seems like you can just layer layer the voice on top of itself. Maybe add some drums. You know, see where it goes. Jingle bells, Batman smells. Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile broke his wheel. The Joker got it. Yes. Then, oh my gosh. From, from working from working the deli, uh, you know how they are with Christmas music, where they play it for two yes. fucking months. Oh, it just okay. becomes this like endless nightmare. Yeah. yeah. God, that sounds horrible. Like, Never yeah, blue, 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 blue testicles. Blue I've, I've, I've been thinking about. <laughs> I've been thinking about okay. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about this a little bit. Where it's music that sounds liminal, like gives you like the same impression of like a liminal space. Ooh, yeah, and that's that's kind of it. Sounds like it sounds like that. It sounds like Christmas music could probably fit the bill. At Honestly, least if it was like coming yeah. from behind the wall. Oof. Yeah, it probably fucking could like. Christmas music very much is the liminal space of music. <laughs> I'm glad the uh... after mid October. Like, why stop yeah. it? Because they want they want to get you pumped so you buy shit. But I'm not going to be pumped and or buy shit. Like, no. And I can't buy shit nor be pumped. Like, <laughs> like I can either Man, be pumped or I can buy shit. Pick one. Man, I'm glad St. Patrick's Day is uh, gone because I had to hear fucking fiddles for two days over the intercom. No. Mm. Damn. Oh, I like fiddles and certain types of music, but hmm. I just had to. I just thought about this. I would have expected them to have played a hurdy gurdy at least once. I guess maybe not. The hurdy gurdy man? I can't. <laughs> Heard a gird. Fuck you. Heard a gird. Oh my god, I love you guys so much. Sipping Aww. on some urban durban bourbon, yeah. I love you too, and stop being so nice, you bitch. We should get we should get Boobery in here to talk about Simla for two hours. Oh, yes. no, no, thank you. No, once he gets on a topic, he like kind of like just he like he can't help but complete the topic and it annoys the shit out of everybody. I, I Wait, really? Get that way sometimes, like mm -hmm. I get it. He's one of our mutual friends from another server. Uh, he's 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 a nice the, guy. Oh, here we go. Uh, Mary, he's the type of ADHD where. When he starts talking about a, a special interest, he won't stop until he completes the full idea. Oh my lord! Ooh, ooh! He's that okay. type of ADHD. Okay, that's mm. annoying as fuck. He's kind of a well, actually, yeah. guy too. Damn. I like listening to him. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that other people didn't like it. And... 
uh, well, it's, oh no, I don't just dis- I don't dislike him. It's just like I know he's like that's a compulsion. Like that's really hard for him to fight. <laughs> oh, and dang. something else that you have to consider is that because there are so many different types of ADHD, not all types of ADHD are going yes. to enjoy the speech yes. pattern of other ADHDers, yeah. and we're going to yeah. get annoyed with each other because we are so varying. Like I, I can't stand the way that uh, my brother talks about certain ideas sometimes uh, well i'm glad i absolutely like love my brother a beautiful cadence and rhythm and no like you. yes it's happy to my ears yeah and i know that there are some people that like have adhd that can't stand listening to me talk like i know my brother sometimes he can't stand listening to me talk i annoy him but it's so nothing to do with what I'm saying. It's everything to do with like how our ADHDs interact with each other. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's ADHD, but uh like everyone like feels like they're moving and talking in slow motion to me. So like I tend to talk over them because I like don't really have the patience to wait for them to get through a statement. That's an ADHD. Uh, that's an ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's an ADHD thing. Don't worry. Yeah. Just like, Hi, welcome to the club. Out. Fuck. <laughs> like, oh my God, you've been on the same idea for like 10 minutes now. Just sh- 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 go. D- uh, no. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> hey, Keon. Welcome to the stream. Keon. This is the uh, the ADHD oh stream of consciousness. Uh, yes, we it appreciate is. you being here. We are it really is. Puzzle number two. I think, yeah, I have yeah. ADHD. I think Ami does too. Yeah, I got something. Byo, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best way to put it. Yeah, I got something. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? Ooh. <laughs> 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 Y'all are all yeah. fantastic and wonderful and the absolute greatest. I am so Thank glad you. that everyone has opted to come and hang out with me on this uh, Tuesday. We've been at this for five hours now. <laughs> of course. Like, Thank you. It's my pleasure. My house is clean. My cats are fed. My husband is fucked. And here I am. There you go. Wait. I fell asleep to the stream. I woke up to the stream. I'm on this stream. It's oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, sometimes you just it, things happen, okay? And you know, mangoes get a little giggly and sometimes and wake people sometimes. up. Sometimes. And sunshines get a little snorty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> My Mr. Snap Rocket over here. Sweet little piggy right <laughs> now. And I'm. <laughs> I'm surprised I could talk as fast as I do. Like, I, I really had to concentrate on, like, speech therapy, and I still do practice just because I get, like, brain injury. Yeah. Ooh. So let, let's see if you guys can do any of them. Say 11 benevolent elephants three times fast. 11 uh, benevolent uh, elephants, 11 benevolent elephants, 11 benevolent elephants. 11 benevolent elephants. Shit. Yeah, I can't do What's that shit. That's hard. Uh, I'm going to end up slowing down, I think. 11 benevolent elephants. 11 benevolent elephants. 11 benevolent benevolent elephants. 11 benevolent elephants. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, no, no. My, my <laughs> the brain. Thing that Rot just did that. My brain short circuited on. <laughs> A spark just flew out of her head. Yeah, yeah I just. <laughs> <laughs> eleven benevolent elephants. Eleven benevolent. Uh, you know, you're right. It is hard. Wait, eleven benevolent elephants. <laughs> benevolent right. elephant. I, I can't say it three times fast. Right? Don't worry. It took, a, it took a long time to get there. Keep in mind, like, I literally couldn't talk after I got a brain injury. Like, I had to relearn how to speak. Wow. No, I had to relearn right. how to walk. Wow. 
That sucks major ass. I got pretty lucky. I, I don't get like the migraines that a lot of people get from something like that. Yeah, yeah that is good. Oh, yeah, a lot of people get head injuries. Uh, they get migraines the rest of their life. Mm. There was a lady um, There was a lady that uh, I met while I was going to speech therapy who uh, she had, like, half of her skull removed. She uh, she was a dancer. Oh, shit. And uh, she had never, she said she had never fallen in her life. And she uh, she was on some pills and some booze. And uh, she lost yeah. her balance. And just the one time she fell, she just happened to hit her head on a rock in her garden. So, like, uh, like you could see her brain, oh, like, underneath the skin. Because yeah. there was still yeah. 3D printing, like, um, like, a replacement for that part of her skull. Yeah. Really nice lady. Hmm. Well, I hope that everything is going well for her now. Same. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I uh, actually contacted her, like, a month ago. And uh, she got the uh, new part of her skull removed, and her hair is all growing back. Good. Yeah. Oh, it's actually 35 degrees out. I might be able to let the cats on the balcony. Ooh. That's very nice. Oh, you they know, love sun in themselves. Yeah. You know, my, uh, you know, one of my friends, uh, her family have started to take care of a cat that's come to visit them. <laughs> Uh, Aww. it's, yeah, especially during the, especially during the winter months, uh, you know, you know they just let the cat hang out and, uh, you know. the cats become more that's, trusting of them. That's so sweet. Mine are indoor boys. Like, the only outside they get is the balcony. They've each jumped down and I've let them stew for like an hour being scared but then I scooped them up and I was just like, oh, my bubbas. No. Well, so that, sometimes that's the only way that they're going to learn. Like, maybe you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Like, I yeah, you know, you're going to learn today, a kid. Solid lesson. And I, I know it's cruel, to, but yeah. And cats are dicks. Like they, they can only learn by you also being a dick every now and then. Yup. Yup. Because I, I know my yeah. cat, he he would only learn certain lessons if you were equally a dick. Well, I, I I I got mad at my cat uh last night because uh as I was as I was trying to have a discussion with somebody, uh I was hearing my cat eating my mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Bad cat. No. No. Spray it. Right in the back and cheese. <laughs> it was not a it was not very pleasant. I was mad. I was mad. I was already kind of pissed already. But yeah, I was mad. I would yeah, I would be too. Like That's my mac and cheese. Got me mad, pussy. <laughs> 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 it it's saying do cats really hate spiced potatoes that much that they're going to eat your mac and cheese instead? Yeah. yeah. I don't think cats are a big fan of potatoes. Well, they should be. <laughs> no, all right. Cats are not Irish. <laughs> well, maybe uh, they should a sack be. Of potatoes. Okay, no, 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 listen. So, <laughs> Irish, okay, Irish people do like their potatoes, but they have a much stronger affinity for cider. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think it was uh, I think it was Os Asher Kosher or something like that. Some guy with a really Jewish name. Uh, as a stand-up comedian, he went to uh, he went to Dublin, and he was like, "Yeah, I really wouldn't. I would suggest going to other parts of England." He described it as a medieval-themed anti-Semitic frat party. Uh, was that possibly Moshe Kasher? Moshe Kasher, yeah, that's who it was. Yeah, I, I've yeah. seen him before in uh, Boston. Fucking Hello. Lovely. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Hi. Ah, Boris Hello. eats pepperoni. Boris likes the spicy meats. Boris mm -hmm. is uh, 
Like just so it. everyone knows, Boris has Munchausen's by proxy and purposely tries to keep Heon sick. He yes, Boris is a cat, but he does have Munchausen's by proxy. It's not fun. I mean, I think I, I hope what? I hope I hope Munchausen by proxy can be fixed by a little salami. Yeah, me too. Like the entire time that uh that Hyun was recovering from his various procedures following the kidney stones, it seemed like Boris was just trying to keep him sick the whole time. <laughs> So it's an ongoing joke that Boris has Munchausen's by proxy. I have well, you know, no I work at a deli, a so I'm your huckleberry if you want salami. What do you want? Hard salami? You want the Genoa salami? You want the pepper salami? You want the soap oh, Genoa with the little mm. peppercorns. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have the Soterio Genoa that is peppercorns, and then we have the uh, Carando Genoa that does not. Nice. I kind of prefer the Carando. It's a little more oily. Did you say Soterio? Yes, ma'am. We just uh, started uh, adding that to inventory two months ago. Yo, I used to work there. Oh, my God. Did you work at the factory? Yes. In Pennsylvania. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. yeah, we carry a lot of their stuff now because uh, some of it's a little cheaper than uh, the Carando brand. No. But wow. We got your sweet capicola. We got your hot capicola. Yes. Yes. And the thing that I hated packaging the most what was that it was fat. The pimpico. Pimento something. Not a big I fan didn't... of pimento. Anything with pimento is like so fucking difficult to package. Right. Ugh. Oof. But that's so cool. Like, wow, small world. Yeah. Seriously small world. I was not expecting that today, but here we are. Oh. Yep. Oh yeah, we got we got all the daily meats. Honestly, I was not expecting as many people to want to, you know, like partake in the puzzle stream today. And I greatly appreciate all of y'all because I'm being nice again, damn it. Stop look, it. Look, look, if you, you it's okay if two people. All right, people, that's why they pay me the big bucks. It's okay if two people are nice, but I'm the only one who can apologize, okay? You don't have a Minnesota card. <laughs> yeah, but are you Canadian? Oh, are you Canadian? Oh, sorry. Shit. Are you sorry? <laughs> uh,. <laughs> Canadian light. <laughs> that, that's fair. Canadian light works. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Canada's hey, hero. Give your balls a tug, <laughs> you tit fucker. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need to memorize one of his speeches. Three things are going to happen. <laughs> oh, dude, you want to talk about tongue twisters, letter Kenny. Oh, my God. I don't even know how they make it through those lines. They just it's have really fun. easy because they they're just they're trying to make each other laugh. That's how I love Letter Kenny about. so much. Oh my god, the chirpins! And oh. the, Ooh, you were yep. hanging out with the right people because all of us love Letter Kenny here. Oh, uh, Shorzy is one of my favorite characters of all time. Dude, same. He's such an ass. Like he just has he has the most clever ways to talk about fucking everyone's mom. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend, my girlfriend Ashley has been getting me into this Canadian sitcom. I forget what it's called. Uh, would it be a corner gas? Yes, yes, it I is. I will be right back. Just taking the dump. Whenever people say a uh, Canadian sitcom, fuck I'm... you and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever people say Canadian sitcoms, it's always one of two things. It's either Corner Gas or it's Letterkenny. Because they're yeah. like the two most popular uh, Canadian sitcoms. I like Letterkenny a lot more than I like Trailer Park Boys. Like, I'm okay with that show, but Letterkenny is just more my speed. Yeah, it, same. Yeah. 
you know, I've noticed that there is like a nice little divide between like people that like Letterkenny, people that like Trailer Park Boys, and then there's the weird in betweeners that like both. I think a lot of the stoner crowd likes uh, Trailer Park Boys a lot more. Yeah. Because I remember I saw them live at the Wilbur in Boston. And uh, I actually didn't feel like I really got my money's worth for the show because it was like word for word, just the same as like a Netflix special that they had. But mm -hmm. as soon as you went outside during intermission, you're just like blasted by like weed smoke from like everyone out there. <laughs> Wait, I'm a stoner and I find Letter Kenny just absolutely brilliant. I'm a stoner too, but it, it like uh, they're kind of like across the board, all stoners for Trailer Park Boys. I don't like it's... that. Hey, I've never liked. To me, that's stupid. <laughs> Just. Mm. Oh, I like mm. my weed. It keeps me from being a psychopath. Well, less less of a psychopath, I guess. Sociopath. Yeah, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Yes, I'm quoting Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I feel no empathy for sociopaths. Mm -hmm. That's kind of sociopathic. And oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the tables have turned. The turns have oh, tabled. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, what, what? 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 <laughs> ho, ho, cherry-o. We oh. swear. Oh, my God. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> Jim Jim Jiminy Jim Jim Jeru <laughs> Oh, Rot doesn't have a step stool anymore. I stole it. God oh. damn it. <laughs> alarm. What was that? I, I was wondering what that was. Rot's alarm. Oh, that was, that was my alarm I said. Mm. God. The, the, this is that kind of that kind of just reminded me of uh okay so the bbc sherlock was something i really only got into because uh my friend's sister they were the ones who um they were the ones who were really into the show yeah <laughs> like to the point uh, where they themselves or they themselves call themselves sherlock oh uh, yep that type yeah. of into it yeah. i like euros the sister like, ooh, she is fucking twisted. Oh, another th another thing that I'm probably going to get in trouble for at work when somebody is able to translate it. I know how to yell at people in a bunch of different languages. And uh, so once in a while, uh, I'll, I'll just be like, Diamond Canine, schnell. And no one realizes I'm telling them to get their on their knees faster. Like, <laughs> oh, <damn it> <laughs> No Germans have come by and noticed yet. Yeah, no, I who <laughs> because of my knowledge of the Norwegian language. Ooh, I I got what you said. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creep. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, shoot. Uh right. Uh I'm, okay, so rapid fire, what are three thing what are three ways you've told people that you're right behind them? Um atra. I use that a lot just because there's a lot of Spanish speaking people around there. Atra, cuidado. On your six? Wait, that's Oh no oh uh oh uh so... And I'm not military. I have never served in any military. But I thought you were special. No, on your six. This, this is blows my mind. Just, I'm on your ass. I got you. On your six, rubber ducky, 10 4. Yep. No, and usually, uh, usually I'll make references. Birthday. Usually I make references to their butthole when I'm walking behind people. Because, you know, when you're on a line um, at a food place, you got to let people know when you're behind them so they don't bump into you. And uh, a lot of the time, I'm just like, all right, you know, behind, behind, watch your O-ring, behind. <laughs> Mind your crevasse, behind you. Mind your hand, maybe. <laughs> watch your divide coming through. 
watch you divide. Are you minded? <laughs> Whose hammer are we minded? Oh, Mary, don't die. <laughs> Oh, and I mentioned food. twice now. So, like, I'll take the rotisserie chickens out and I have to run them down the line so I can get them wrapped and on their little trays and everything so we can put them on a hot plate uh, for people to grab. And uh, twice now, I I've been like, hot pigeons coming through. And a customer <laughs> looked at me in horror, thinking that <laughs> I actually was serving pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> hot vultures. Okay, so, God, so, uh, what was it? Breathe, breathe, God damn it. <laughs> Breathe. We don't have the health insurance if you don't. <laughs> no, we can we can rebuild her. We have the technology. Oh, I do. My husband. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Fuck y'all. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I wanted to, for the final time, thank everyone for joining me here. Uh, we have finished two puzzles. We have talked about all of the things. Quite literally. Yeah. The diet pick. I have about an hour before small human gets here, and I've been sitting here for the last five and a half, so I'm gonna go have a snack and then get the small human from the bus and uh hydrate. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to go hydrate. Mm -hmm. Uh friendly reminder tonight. Security Monitor Lizard is not going to be on his main channel. He is going to be on the backup channel covering Russia and Ukraine. Uh, content warning. What is the backup? Ooh. Oh, it is Ooh. called Backup Where Monitor. And I will put the link in there for you. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. One of the things that's going to be happening on that channel as well is we are going to be he is going to be announcing the charity drive that he and I are teaming up for. Um, lots of regrets shall be had if we meet our goal. And you guys are going to absolutely love it, I am sure. Like, Mary, Mary, you're going to love this, I swear. Um, so, yes, that is what we are doing uh, over there. But, yes, major content warning. There, there will be, like, combat footage and stuff shown for educational mm. purposes. So is he doing on the backup as kind of like a fuse breaker in case like it gets, you know, struck for something? Uh well, actually his main channel did get a community guideline strike for his drop it war style music video because that was uh combat footage shown for entertainment purposes instead of educational Damn. purposes. Damn. But they didn't strike him for it until after he started covering Russia Ukraine. So Ooh, in order to keep because the, that's a hot button fucking mm, yeah yeah they only so, want like CNN Fox News and MSNBC talking about that on YouTube. Well, no, I they didn't mind that he's talking about that. It's just uh, you have to show the footage for educational purposes, not entertainment. And the music video in question was entertainment only; it wasn't educational. So he got struck for it. Uh, Otherwise, his streams about them have been perfectly fine. But just as a precaution to keep his main channel intact, he is now moving all Russia-Ukraine coverage to the backup channel. Oh, yeah, it's the yeah, fuse breaker. Yeah. So, it's all That's well cool. and good. I hope the show goes well. Yeah. Uh, but yes, tonight we're announcing the charity thing that we're doing. And that is going... Oh, my God. Yes, Beer Eggs does have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. yep. Yep. there's a lot of regrets that will be had uh, so yes be sure to check that out um, I need to is the poll still up on here like is my poll yeah, still open it's still up. Mm -hmm. great I am so glad because I didn't know if it would stay up because it doesn't show up on the stream yard uh, I, I literally woke up to it blocking to it blocking chat so same yeah <laughs> Yeah, it does 
that. Who does that? Uh, let's see. Where are we at? So I had to vote. Like, damn it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I hope that people voted. Oh, okay. So we are going to end poll 24 votes. Wow. That is spectacular. 24 people have voted. Uh, And so our topic for the next informational stream is going to be the troubled teen industry. Yeah, I like that one more. With like like cuties and stuff like that. It's a pretty relevant topic. Uh, Well, I covered Aspen Education Group, which is the group that owns the troubled teen ranch that Dr. Phil sends people to. Oh, I've already done a deep dive into Aspen Education, and Aspen Education is but a smaller part of what is known as the troubled teen industry. So we're going to take a look at what all their different, like services are in that industry uh why they're i heard up. my parents plotting to send me to one of the and i ran away yeah good you night, yeah because no 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 no, no uh no. the trouble teen industry what parents don't understand because like they look at these websites and they see oh there are these programs that are yeah. going to help our child when yeah. in actuality uh Most of them did not require, most of them did not require any licensed therapists or therapy programs until this year. Yeah. It's basically child abuse. Like you kidnap a child from, like you take them away in the middle of the night. And yeah, like that literally. You're so very educated. That's that's literally happened to like thousands of children. Like they, they're just not told beforehand they're kidnapped from their home and then they're somewhere else in the country. Or yeah, not even in the same is, country. And they don't have their parents. They can't contact their parents. They don't know what the fuck's going. Yep. Yeah. And oh. uh, the thing is, parents they, they don't know how to approach actual mental health professionals. F- see this as, oh, shit, I can finally get my child the help they need. And they're willing to shell out hundreds of thousands of dollars a year because yep. it's a multi-billion dollar a year industry without yep. realizing, oh, fuck, this is wrong. So... When their child does come back abused, and in some cases the child is dead, they're yeah. just like, like that must eat at them in such a or way. Dead inside, like crying. hello mother, hello father, like ooh, ooh. Like these parents were trying their hardest. They thought they were doing what was best for their kid, and yep. like it, it fucks Turns everyone out. up all the way around. It's mm. terrible. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, before uh, we leave, Ami, so you seem to be pretty good with these. Can you say pencil pushers put in pen? Uh, pep, uh, I can barely say it. Pencil pushers <laughs> put in pepper in their pudding parts. Yeah, pen- pencil pushers putting pencils in their pudding parts. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, pencil pushers, it, it, pencil pushers put in peppers in their pudding parts. Oh, peppers. Pencil pushers pencil? putting peppers in their pudding parts. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Very good. Wow. I'm familiar. Yeah. God damn it, Ami. Pencil <laughs> right, puppers putting in their pudding farts? Like, pudding farts. pencil pushers <laughs> putting peppers in their pudding farts. Oh. I hate you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. All right, you guys, I wanted to thank everyone that's here once again for being here because y'all are spectacular, and I'm glad that y'all decided to spend today with me. Yay! Yay. All right, I hope you have a good time with Tiny Human. Oh, yeah. thanks. We're going to have, have a good I'm shower, have a too. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Take oh. care, fruit. Yeah. Right. Uh, I will catch you guys later. Y'all will probably see me, you know, posting in various random discords. No. <laughs> no. Right. Right. Have a good time, guys. I'll give you all kisses. Oh, now everyone has COVID.